What's up, up y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share our genuine reactions to some of the hottest content on YouTube. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you want to join the membership to our channel and become one of our little freaks, hit the join button for exclusive perks. Without further ado, shout out to the members of our channel. All right, y'all, we wanna announce that our bookstore is hot, y'all. Shout out to the people who've been ordering. Y'all, we have black erotic short stories. It has sound effects, music, ambience to make you feel like you're in the story. And plus, y'all, we're getting ready to record some new books. So when you go to our website, nickandcarla.com slash freaks to order your book, make sure you sign up for the rewards program, y'all. Y'all earn points every time you make a purchase. And when you sign up, you get 100 points to start you off. Yeah. So, all right, babe, what are we reacting to today? All right, y'all, today we're reacting to Taco Super Gremlin. All right, y'all, so let's just go ahead and get, hold on, y'all. I'm so sorry to do this, but this is going to irritate the shit out of me. Okay, uh, before we get a reaction, do us a favor, hit the like button because it helps us grow. Let's go. Let's get to it. Let's see what Taco is talking about. Tap in with Taz the Creator. Get you a Get Creative shirt. It ain't on Shein. Girl, white people done fucking ate us. What the fuck? And used our skin as fucking leather. And used our hair what? as fucking cotton to put in goddamn stuffed chairs. And y'all done, done fed fucking babies to alligators and used us as target practice. What is happening? Y'all done down here and cry about a fucking slap at the Oscars. Them niggas barbarians and then get mad at us when, when we act a little <laughs> niggerish at the fucking Oscars. Don't even, don't even let me get started on y'all raccoon ass niggas. Y'all be doing too much in front of the white people. Y'all embarrassing us in front of the white people. You literally cannot embarrass none of us in front of white people. Those are the last people I would ever feel embarrassed in front of. What the fuck? Look at them. <laughs> Look, look at them. Look at what they stand for. Look what they did to the world. What are you talking about? You, you guys, you guys act so, you guys act like you just don't have any sense in front of white people. They don't have sense in front of any fucking body. What you talking about? <laughs> Why do you think we're here right now? Why do you think the gas price is high? What the fuck? Why do you think the oxtail price is high? Fuck you talking about? It's the white man. <laughs> Lord. So much villainous energy in the air. And I have a story time related to that shit because on top of the fact that Will Smith slapped the shit out of Chris Rock, I also, uh, first of all, let me speak on that because somebody was like, can you get on your podcast and talk about it? And since I talked about it on my podcast and I know a lot of y'all are not tapped in with my podcast, you need to download an app called Station Head and you need Apple Music or Spotify Premium to listen to my podcast. Also on a new app called Yibber, you know what I'm saying? Jibber for the fucking grammar police. I pronounce it as Yibber, you know what I'm saying? Yibber is your own podcast app. You can get on there. You can post your cute little picture, talk on top of it, you know what I'm saying? And it is now available for iOS download and Android download. Since the Oscars happened, somebody was like, can you talk about it on your podcast? Because I know you got something to say about it. And if y'all want me to be honest, I, I don't give a fuck because, like, first of all, it's not my tax bracket. Se second of all, I don't give a fuck about celebrities because I just feel like they all be fucking fake anyway. I don't even think they real goddamn people, except for Chris Brown and Chloe Bailey. I love them. I Lord. Them water. But <laughs> it's, it's just like, it was a fucking slap. Like, yeah, see, niggas get slapped every day, B. Like, <laughs> the fuck we gonna cry over a slap? Bitch, it's okay. It's not that goddamn serious. And if you want me to be honest, bitch, do y'all remember? This, this, this be my, this my, this my thing right here. Y'all know I'm a always, y'all know I'm a always equate some shit to race. I don't give a fuck. I'm one of them. If you don't like it, bitch, I'm not the bitch for you. And that's okay because I'm not for no fucking body but myself. One thing about me, I kind of feel like if, if you a fucking a weirdo or if you got like some raccoon energy in your fucking, in your aura, yeah, bitch, I don't give a fuck about what happened to you, hoe. Do y'all remember that time where Chris Chris Rock was sitting around all them fucking white men oh, and they was Lord. laughing, going back and forth, and he was letting the white men say nigger? I'm talking about, you know what I'm Y'all remember that? Not even just... Yeah, it's crazy because I had never seen that video. I had never even knew that it existed until the whole slap thing happened. Yeah. And when I sat back and watched it, I mean, shout out to the dude that you like. What's his name? 
the comedian. Oh, Jerry. Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. Um, he was like the only one that was kind of like, y'all, we shouldn't be saying nigger. Um, he didn't say the word. Yeah, he didn't say it. He but said, I don't think it's a laughing matter. Yeah, but yeah. it's like, so shout out to him. But other than that, it's like, it was very uncomfortable. I was observing Chris to try to see how he was reacting while these white men were just passing the N-word back and forth. And um, it was just disgusting to me. Yeah. You know, because that word, I know more and more people are getting comfortable, especially white people are trying to get comfortable with using that word because it's in a lot of the music, which us, we don't have control over what these people are doing with the music industry and what yeah. they're promoting, violence, drugs, sex, and all that. But that word, it goes back and it's, it's, it, it, it still hurts, So yeah. you know, to most. So it was very disgusting and, and horrible to watch. Yeah. Just nigga. It don't make a difference, but it's still the fact that, like, he was letting him say the, the hard ER. Do y'all remember that? Y'all, do y'all remember Chris Rock sitting in a room with, like, three other fucking comedians? And I, I, I think one of them was Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld was in that motherfucker, and it was, like, two other random white men. They was, like, comedians or some shit. And Chris Rock is the only black man in there, and he going back and forth just laughing, like, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you know, when we're on stage, we, we have this rebuttal back and forth where we say nigger, and he says nigger. And Jerry Seinfeld's sitting there like, it's, it's not funny, and I'm not comfortable hearing y'all say that. I'm not comfortable talking. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, see, my nigga Seinfeld know what the fuck going on. I'm like, oh, God, nigger, 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 chicken dinner. Bitch. That if you ask me, the slap wasn't enough. <laughs> Fuck you. <talking. laughs> I mean, that's serious, y'all. Y'all, y'all act like y'all know Chris Rock personally. Y'all act like Will slap y'all daddy. Bitch, it's not that goddamn serious. And if you want me to be honest. Yeah, and let's just be straight. I don't know what she about to say, but if you from the hood, like you used to see a shit like that. Man, what? I done, from the hood, I done seen somebody get beat down, hit with a bat, stumped on everything. <laughs> y'all, can I just fix one thing? I'm so sorry. Hold on. Bear with me. I'm so sorry, but thank you for your patience. He's so cute. It's, it was just eating me up inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we're ready. Honest, if you want conspiracy theorist taco to talk, bitch, it was probably fucking fake. But if you want ignorant, woke taco to talk, I don't give a fuck because he a coon. Cause bitch, first of all, you making all you making these lame ass, watered down, crusty, dusty, rust ass jokes in front of all these fucking white people about this black woman head. Shut your shut your goofy ass up, Marty. You're not even fucking funny. Yeah, you know saying. And and on top of that, <laughs> and and on top of that, you sit in that room and let and let them white men say nigger in front of you. Come on now, he 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 should have head butted his ass. Fuck is he to me? <laughs> I my new motherfucking intro is just gonna be me saying hey. To hey, that's, that's I like her hair. I love. She always be on point with her hair, man. Yeah. Hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Happy Friday to y'all. <laughs> Hope y'all have an amazing weekend. Bitch, with all that being motherfucking said, I just want to get on here and basically tell y'all it is some real villainous energy going on in the world right now. And I feel like I'm a part of it because <laughs> I saw this post and y'all know this is my new thing. Every time I see a post, I'm going to correlate a story time with it. Let me move out the way so I can have somewhere to put it. This says, I'm 100% okay with being the villain in certain people's story if that means they'll leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> I will. So. I saw this post here on um, Sin, and the post is basically like, I saw a couple of posts like this, but I screenshotted this one particular one. But the first post I saw was like, I don't care if I'm the villain in some of y'all's stories because y'all deserved it. Literally, that's me. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you like, oh, that taco bitch, she be all in mind preaching peace, love, and happiness, but the bitch is really a bitch in real life. Yes, I am, because some of y'all be rubbing me the wrong fucking way. And then when I give you chance after chance after chance, and then I finally react and I blow the fuck up, everybody like, oh, this bitch ain't all peace, love, and energy. Y'all, can we please just chill out with that? Because I've heard that said about me and Carla. Oh, they like to try to be all positive and act like they're so yeah. spiritual. Do y'all not know what the fuck yeah. it means to be a human? We didn't say, so this is it. I, I think sometimes people look at um, 
spirituality or you being in the church or just you speaking positive for whatever reason y'all want to put people on a pedestal but what y'all have to realize is that's your standard that you're setting for somebody that doesn't mean that we have to meet it I even know Christians that curse. Yeah. You put them in the right, wrong situation. That's your fault. They will cuss you out. Yes. So it doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to have feelings. I'm not allowed to be reactive. Like, if you come at me the wrong way, you're going to get these motherfucking words. And the cool thing about me and Carla, like, we are ourselves. Majority, yes, we like to be positive and we like to talk about good feeling things. Yeah. But we are very in tune with the wide range or the spectrum that that the emotions and the human experience is, which includes good and evil, positive and negative. <laughs> you need both. Yeah. So for you to look at us and if anybody think that we're just always positive all the time, then you're dumb. That's yeah. why I would like to see it. If you hear anybody say anything like that, like, oh, they claim to be so positive and all that, but they be... Tell them shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm serious. Just tell them shut the fuck up. Serious. Yeah, like, this bitch really evil as fuck. Yeah, bitch, it's called duality. <laughs> Thank like, you. Like, that, that be y'all problem. Y'all think because a bitch walking around here talking like she Mother Teresa and acting like goddamn Gandhi... That don't mean I can't switch up real quick and turn into fucking Pastor Troy, bitch. No more Thank playing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> bitch, don't play with me like that. I will put a hole in your chest. To be like I Look up the law of polarity. Both are needed. And to <laughs> those who don't know how to get in touch with the other side, that sucks for you. But me and Carla, we do. We know how to. Man, the post was just basically saying, like, I don't care if I'm the villain in some of y'all story times or, like, in your life, period. I don't give a fuck if you making it seem like I'm the bad guy. Because one thing about me, y'all know this from previous story times. One thing about me, I give people numerous amounts of fucking chances. And they still play with me like I'm not him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they still play with me like my pronouns are not that bitch. And then that bitch finally spaz out and blow up and cut your ass the fuck off or i return the energy tenfold fuck you to my i return all that evil eye shit to the, the sender you acting like i'm the goddamn problem you be fucking me up because like i i don't like i don't like cutting my my connection with people because at the end of the day it's kind of like bitch we could have been superstars <laughs> Bitch, we, we could we could have been like cool as hell, but like you got to act in fucking flaw and shysty. Like, bitch, you would not poo shysty. Like, probably not gonna be that long of a story time, but I, I got somewhere to be, so I just gotta hurry up and get right into it. And also, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with. The Look, and I'm what? laughing because I know how long this video is. <laughs> of my grandmother. So if I seem off or if I seem real distracted. Yeah, you know saying just excuse me. I'll be alright. So, nigga, one thing about me, <laughs> one thing about me, I'ma cut a motherfucker off. I ain't got no money. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That probably sounds so wrong. You ain't got no money. I'ma cut you the fuck off. Cause you're not gonna come around me and just feed off of me. You know what I'm saying? I am not no goddamn ATM. I am not no piggy bank, bitch. I do not got no goddamn dollar sign written on me. I'm not no cheap hoe, but I'm also not no flexing, flaunting ass. I gotta do the most. I gotta show motherfuckers. I got rack aids type bitch. I'm not that type yeah. of bitch. I'm that type of hoe. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, one thing about me, I'm going to always have money, and I'm going have, to always have money, and I'm going to always have wealth. So I don't feel the need to flaunt and flex and show it off. And I got this, and I drive that, and I live here, and I dress like this. It's not that fucking serious to me. I'm going to always have it, so why do I have to show it off to prove that I have it? You know what I'm saying? But I commend the people who do, bitch. Pop your shit, twin. You know what I'm saying? But I just never been one of them types of people. I don't got no money. You're going to get the fuck from around me because you're strange. <laughs> you peculiar, nigga. What the fuck you mean? Where your money at? You know what I'm saying? Especially for us to be so grown in, this, in, in a time where, like, prices is going up bitch you know what i'm saying it's the white man fault prices going up gas expensive as hell can't even get an oxtail meal no more i'm talking about the 10 piece wing motherfucker that shit and went up to 15 dollars yeah facts yeah i've actually heard that um yeah, um, this is a story that came out of St. Louis, how they were talking about at the fast food restaurants, they're beginning to charge extra any type of way they can. Um, and one of the charges is an overnight charge. So, like, if you try to go to fast food and get some food, like, after hours, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. 11 o'clock at night, shit like that, they charge extra fee. And they even put it on the drive through window, yeah. uh, on the drive through to say, you will be, you will be charging overnight fee. 
Damn. Yeah, even Nick, she was watching this TikTok one time and this lady was talking about people was questioning why are they getting charged to taxes. And I actually looked at one of my receipts the other week and I was like, why am I getting charged a state tax and then a tax? And yeah. it was the same fucking amount, y'all. Yep. And on the news, the big get big get, she was getting interviewed at Popeyes, and she was just like, "Look, I used to get a ten piece, but now, like the price I pay for a ten piece, they only giving me eight pieces." She bought her other two. Bitch, I was, I was, I, bitch, I was at the, <laughs> bitch, I was at the wing spot the other day trying to get me a little ten piece motherfucker, <laughs> all flex, extra, extra crispy with the peach drink on the side. My total was fucking 15, 27. Who? Who the fuck? Like, what? Bitch, what the fuck are you giving me? T Rex wings? What the fuck? Why is it, bitch, what the fuck is this? Bitch, this beluga whale chicken? Why the fuck is it so expensive? Yeah, fuck no. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fuck no. Shit is expensive right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you not gonna be around me. You ain't got no money because, like, bitch, I'm not no goddamn. I'm not no. You not my charity case. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be like. Man, breaking what? Up. Bits and pieces of bread every every time we gotta step out, every time we gotta go somewhere, I gotta help you up. I'm not one of them people. Bitch, I had this one fucking counterpart. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you tell me I had this one associate. And I tell y'all, this bitch was a fucking party bitch nonstop. I'm talking about the bitch always wanted to party. Now let me tell y'all, within this friend group, it was me, it was two other hoes. These two hoes was sisters, you know what I'm saying? And then it was the motherfucker who never had no goddamn money. So the motherfucker who never had no money, the sisters were her friends. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So I, <laughs> you see, me, I'm the pinky because I'm little, stupid. <laughs> little piggy is taco. No, really. So me, I only knew of the two sisters because I was associates with this one. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm not gonna do it like that. I'm gonna say she was a friend, but she wasn't a close friend to the point where like. I was gonna break bread every motherfucking time. You know what I'm saying? One, it is like one thing for us to be out at McDonald's and like you want a McChicken. I get, I get, a, I get a bitch a McChicken. You know what I'm saying? I get a bitch a little four for four. I get a bitch a little four for four. Fuck you to my. I get a bitch a McChicken. You know what I'm saying? But like we get to stepping out and doing like amazing ass, extravagant ass, adventurous ass shit. I'm not gonna keep covering your goddamn tail, bitch. I am not Warren Buffett. Fuck you to my. So. The two sisters was her friend, but me and her, we we was close. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So the two sisters was only around because they was friends with her. Okay, so our group is four of us. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Me, the two sisters, and the bitch who ain't never had no fucking money. The two sisters knew this bitch ain't never had no motherfucking money, but I guess they didn't mind because like they had fucking money. But my thing is. We all grown as women. I'm not finna take care of no, you know what I'm saying? I'm not. Yeah. I, I, hope, I hope this shit don't sound. I don't give a fuck how it sounds. <laughs> Let me correct myself. I don't give a fuck how it sounds because one thing about me, I work hard for this shit, bitch. So, like, I'm not finna be breaking bread and spending my all on somebody who didn't help me get to this motherfucking point. You know what I'm saying? So, the two sisters, I guess them bitches didn't mind. Or it was probably to the point where they already knew that this was their broke best friend, so they kind of was just used to it. I'm never going to get used to that. You're not going to keep coming out with me having a good motherfucking time, and then when the bill come, you got them getting up. I'm going to go to the restroom, y'all. Uh, bitch, if you get your ass back in this motherfucking section and pay for this motherfucking hookah, bitch, you the only motherfucker over here smoking pomegranate. You weird taste. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I just fix one more thing? Just bear with me. Sorry. All right. Resume. Good having ass, bitch. Pay for this goddamn hookah. You know what I'm saying? I don't like shit like that. It was this one motherfucking trip to fucking Miami. Y'all already know. What? What? Y'all already know. Y'all be seeing y'all be seeing the tweets. Y'all be seeing the memes, the posts. For some reason, when a friend group go to Miami, they not gonna be friends when they come back. I don't know what they, I don't know what's in Miami air. Miami will test your motherfucking friendship. It will test your patience. It'll test your mental stability. It'll test your fucking emotional and your physical. I'm talking about Miami is gonna rip bitches apart. Damn hard than motherfucking crack ripped apart the I didn't know that was a thing. Me either, but I've never been to Miami either with a group of people. Black family in the fucking eighties and the nineties, bitch. Yeah, you know Sam. Miami do not play no games. Miami gonna hit your ass with that make it, make it, make it, make it. I'm talking about Miami, you ripping. Man, so we 
all fucked around and we got down, you know, little <laughs> friendship shit, like a little goddamn. Oh, we should go to Miami just one random weekend. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm free all the time. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, this, this is my job. This is how I pay my bills. I'm free all the motherfucking time. So, bitch, if you want to go to Dubai, we go out to Dubai, too. Fuck you talking about. So, we should go to Miami one random ass weekend. We should go out there, turn up, bitch. I get the rental, bitch. I get the rental, bitch. Then we can split the Airbnb four-way, four-way. You think we finna split an Airbnb four-ways? We don't even split a fucking Taco Bell four-ways because one of us always got to pay for this, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And... Not even to sound like a fucking asshole, but it just got to the point where I was just tired of coming out my pocket for this bitch. Now, like I said, one thing about me, if you hanging around me, I'm not going to leave you just fucking starving. That fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I dated that ugly bitch I dated. I, bitch, that bitch had me in situations like that where, like, she would be eating and I would just be sitting there. Bitch, if we fucking and the fact that you just got me sitting here and I'm starving and you know I don't have no money. Like, at this time, I was fucked up. I was down bad. I was broke. I ain't going to cap. And this bitch would go and get herself food, and I would just be in the car with her while she's eating. The bitch wouldn't offer; she wouldn't ask me nothing. But the bitch knew we didn't. The bitch knew I didn't have no money because like we're dating type shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't been in that predicament. I didn't been in that situation. It does not feel good. I would never do it to anybody else. You know what I'm saying? One thing about me: if you around me, you're going to eat. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy eating. If I'm eating, you gonna eat. I don't mind getting you know. Hey, that is a good point. I don't know if I could just sit and eat. <laughs> and. <laughs> Somebody else ain't able to eat. I can. And I would. <laughs> you could. Yes. I actually, when I used to hang around with people, we Babe, did. Babe, your heart too big for that nine. Okay. I think I done took too much of that damn shot. Go ahead. <laughs> Y'all, I have been with a group of people and had that broke friend. And I was always the person put my foot down. And... I was just like, I'm sick of them. Like, it's always something. Some with the car. Some this, that, and the other. Like, don't put that shit on my plate. That's your life. Comment below if you can relate. Hopefully the comment is working. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's get to the video. <laughs> fucking food bitch because food is a necessity bitch you need that shit to keep going. You need that shit to live. Sometimes you just want it because no. you're bored. Like me. Fuck you to my... If you don't have no money, maybe sometimes your ass need to fast. <laughs> eat all the goddamn time. They say fasting is healthy for you. It helps to rebuild your immune system. So maybe that's the phase you're in. You reach in. autophagy yeah. where you get rid of dead cells and renews. So maybe that's the phase you need to be in. Have a couple of air sandwiches. <laughs> babe, you so <laughs> Babe, could you really do that? Yes. I can't claim them on my taxes, can I? No, you can't. Oh, okay. So, point. yes. Good point. Yes. Yeah, so, like, you around me, you gonna eat. I don't mind getting you food. But when it get down to the point where, like, I'm paying for your drinks. Fuck you talking about. Getting drunk is not a necessity, bitch. Exactly. I'm paying for your hookah. Fuck you talking about. I ain't getting a buzz food. is not a necessity, bitch. Yeah. Fuck you talking about. I'm paying for you to get in the club. Fuck you to my <laughs> Get in the club. <laughs> Shaking your ass. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, now you're starting to rub me the wrong way because it's like, I'm like, I'm a piggy bank or I'm some sort of like, oh, I ain't got it, but I know Taco got it. And you gonna fuck around and get left outside fucking with me, crazy hoe. You know what I'm saying? So like, everybody was like, we all hyped up. Oh, we gonna go to Miami. We gonna go do, we gonna go do this. I'm gonna go to rental. We gonna split the Airbnb. <laughs> Nigga, when the time came, everybody's like Apple paying their money to each other, right? We all in one big group chat. All four of us in one big group chat. We Apple paying. We sending shit. We sending, we sending flight information. We sending fucking Airbnbs we done found. We, done, we sent screenshots of how much, how much, what we gonna do. We can go there. This a gay club right here. This a little safe little hotel right here for like women this is yeah you know i'm saying <laughs> group chat going crazy this hoe ain't saying nothing this bitch just sending us pictures of outfits okay cool bitch you're gonna be looking real cute outside fuck you to because like <laughs> where's your cut for the fucking airbnb you know what i'm saying but like 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 i keep like i keep repeating one thing about me it it is it's just so deep in me where i can't leave nobody fucked up because i know how i feel to, to be left fucked up and down bad you know what i'm saying but when it gets to the point where i honestly and deeply feel like you using me yeah you starting to rub me the wrong motherfucking way bitch i don't like shit like they come bitch we got the airbnb we got our flights three of us got our flights you know what i'm saying me and the two sister got our flights the bitch the bitch who was like friends with me she ain't saying shit so everybody was just like you know what i'm saying like what's going on like what 
are you not coming? Because like, bitch, the only reason, like, like not even trying to be like, like, like it was a problem, but like it was kind of like, bitch, the only reason the two sisters is talking to me is because of you. You know what I'm saying? So like, not not trying to sound like a bitch, but I wasn't the two sisters' friends. I'm your friend. These are your friends. So what the fuck I look like? Just going to Miami with the two sisters. I don't know them hoes like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not stuck up and I'm not goddamn like, like, sh like fucking snarky, but like, bitch, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? These not my folks. This yeah. hoe get the text in the group chat. I only got $200. Can y'all help me get the rest for my ticket? Why? Y'all, this irks. When I say this fucking irks me, because that's why you have to be careful about. Okay, I ain't, I ain't gonna sit here and eat and you not eat. Like when you willingly do stuff for people, they start expecting that shit. Is that what it is? They will start expecting. Because baby, she it. shouldn't even signed up for that shit if she knew she couldn't afford it. I'm telling you, and then you have people because I've had a family member like this will do shit that they know that they want to do and drop the ball on other shit and they automatically have in their head, I can just reach out to them and I'll be able to get blah, blah, blah. Don't spend my motherfucking money. Bro, bitch, don't spend my money. Hey. What? Nah. <laughs> I'm so serious. You so tempted from this shit? I'm saying, like, look, she trying to spend their motherfucking money. I only got $200. Y'all think y'all can spot me? She automatically knew she was going to ask that. You a broke bitch. Why <laughs> didn't you let us know this? And, and mind y'all, we flying the fucking Delta. You know what I'm saying? And Delta. There's shit wrong with spirit. But like one thing about me, I'm going to always get on Delta. It is something wrong with crackers. spirit. <laughs> I want my crackers, my cookies, and, and, and my orange juice. Fuck you talking about. And I'm just, I'm used to flying Delta. I don't know how to sign up with, I'm not even going to cap. I don't know how to sign up with nobody else. Hey, I just got to say, I can relate. I'm already, like, scared of flying. Like, when I'm flying, I be, like, jerking and all type of shit like that. The only flight crew that I feel comfortable with is Delta. Yeah, one time my daughter flew Spirit. She said she would never do that shit again. Why? Because they just had a rough time. Yeah. I can't remember all the details, but she said she would never fly I don't fly know with if it's the again. quality of the plane that Delta have, but I really like to only fuck with, with Delta. So, it is what it is. I don't know how to book through Spirit. I don't know how to book through fucking Frontier. I don't have time for it. I tried it before. I went on the website and it was a fucking mess. It was fucking ratchet. It was raggedy. Yeah, and ghetto. both I hated of them. It. I said, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not flying. I don't even know how to fucking book. Fuck around and miss my goddamn flight. I remember one time I was standing <laughs> in the airport and I was waiting in line to fucking finish like checking in with Delta. And next thing I hear, I hear the motherfuckers at Spirit talking about some, yeah, this is the last call for baggage because we might not be able to fit everybody baggage. What the fuck you mean? What the hell? You, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, like, that's crazy. Like, <laughs> I never heard no shit like that from Delta. Crazy, man. I'm <laughs> not, not flying no goddamn Spirit. Why? So I can become a Spirit? Hell no, no. Oh, oh, hey, no. Oh, oh, this last check for baggage because we might not be able to fit no more. What you talking about? Bitch, you better make room. Fuck you talking about? You got to throw somebody's shit out. Crazy. Throw one of these folks off the motherfucking plane and put my bag in a seat. Fuck you talking about? We all agree. Like, okay, we can do Delta. One thing about Delta or one thing about, like, maybe any fucking airline i'm not too sure i just know it works with delta if the further out you book the less the ticket will be so if i'm trying to go to fucking new york i'm not gonna book for new york right now because the ticket gonna be like fucking eight hundred dollars if i'm trying to go to new york in october i'm gonna book right now because my ticket right now would probably cost like a hundred to two hundred Maybe even 300 bitch. I can do Damn, that. Damn, so that means we need to be booking for our ticket right now. Look, it made me think about that TikTok um, Sierra sent to me with that guy. He was like, I don't know what's up with these airlines and these prices. He said, but did nobody tell y'all to give all them flights away for free? Now y'all trying to make up for the money. Right. <laughs> he was talking about them $50 flights y'all was giving. Look, now y'all trying to charge. Look, he said, I'm a bag. He said, I'm going to have wheels on me. <laughs> <laughs> 300 but if i'm trying to go new i'm not gonna pay not i don't know what the fuck i look like paying god now 800 to go to fucking new york bitch i am not alicia keys <laughs> man, not the city of where Ooh, dreams are made for me i don't know <laughs> yeah i'm saying like me and the two sisters we got our plane ticket we all booked through delta you know what i'm saying my plane ticket had to be like goddamn 150 
the two sisters, they shit was like fucking 180. You know what I'm saying? Just because everybody booked at different times, but we all were still on the same fucking flight. This hoe talking about some, I only got $200. Can y'all help me get the ticket? Mind y'all, the fucking flight is literally probably like in five to fucking 12 hours. Do you know how? Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, did y'all just get the analogy I use? Yes. When you book right now, that shit finna be like a thousand dollars. Crazy hoe. The fuck I look like Donald Trump to you? Then I tell myself, I only got two hundred dollars. Y'all think y'all can help me with the rest, bitch? We in a group chat texting, going back, to back, to back, to back, going crazy, talking about some. Why did you wait until now? Why did you wait last minute to book your fucking ticket? Why didn't you say something when we all was booking collectively so you could have made this flight with us? This hoe talking about some. I didn't have. I'm going to tell you why. Because when this same person was hungry, y'all was automatically feeding this person. So when they wasn't responding in the group message and just sending outfits, they thought y'all would automatically say, hey, you good? Y'all know this the broke friend. Y'all, that's why I can't hang out with a broke friend. Like, I just can't. I had got to a point in my life, I was like, if you are, and nothing wrong with people that are trying to get on top of stuff. It's just that I don't like being that person that people lean on. Like, if I see you got something going on, or it's just always something with you, I don't like that because it brings me down, like from where I am. And I don't like that, so I don't need that around me. I ain't had a broke friend and I don't know when. And I think this is a good, also a good message for people who tend to always have something going on or always not have a way to pay for your shit. Like maybe the friends that you have in your life, they're not bold enough to tell you that, but I'm going to just let you know now it's annoying and yeah. it's inconvenient and they don't like it. And let us be the ones to tell you, like, get your shit together. Stop always being the one to try to ask for money or ask for help because it's annoying. Yeah, like yeah. I get like when people say, um, if you want to be, if you want to have more money, hang around people with money. That ain't the way. That ain't the way to do it. Like, cause you still big. Yeah, you still need to have your own. My opinion, you still need to have your own shit. It's good to be around people who's doing better than you to learn, but don't be dependent on them or causing them any type of inconvenience because exactly. it is annoying. So if you are one of those people, we're just putting it out there, y'all. Y'all, you are annoying. <laughs> and they probably, if they're not bold enough to let you know to your face, they're probably talking about you behind your back. Oh, they definitely talking about you because we used to talk about our little broke friend. Yeah, so that's just a rude awakening. Shadow work needs to be done. There you go. <laughs> the money at the time but i knew i was going to get two hundred dollars that's that's dumb yeah right <laughs> that's that's gross stuff Am I it's like it is because even if they knew they was going to get two hundred dollars they could have said hey can you spot me this and then i'm gonna be able to pay you at least the flight would have been cheaper it's like in my opinion if you are anywhere where you can't even afford the flight or afford anything, like if you got to be thinking about, damn, do I have this, multiply this, I don't even think you need to go on a trip. That's to true. be honest. Like because you need that to have $200, you probably are not doing something else that you're supposed to be doing. Right. And the thing, if something come up or an emergency or they want to do something spontaneous, they can't. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. you can't. So it's like I really don't think you think you need to go. That's right, my because right now we talking about just the flight. What about the stuff when we get there? Because you still can't pay for the Airbnb. That who paying for your motherfucking food? If we do activities, who fucking paying for that? Bitch, if you don't stay at home. You're inconvenience. Yeah. My Elmo voice. That's dumb. That's dumb. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew I was going to get $200 now. $200 is not going to help you now because the ticket yeah. is more than $200, baby. So now one of us got to come up with the rest. So collectively, we all gave a bitch $40 to $80. You know what I'm saying? I, I gave a whole like fucking $50. They gave a whole like, one sister gave a whole like goddamn $55. Another sister gave a bitch like goddamn $70. I don't fucking know. You know what I'm saying? We just like, bitch, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's fuck it. So uh, the bitch got, the, she got the flight. We all on a plane. We not sitting near each other, obviously, because it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the most we could do was get on the same flight. We all, we can't get the fucking seats right next yeah. to each other. So, uh. Me, bitch, we in Miami. We done got to the Airbnb. We done checked into the Airbnb. 
One thing I do not like is an ungrateful motherfucker who didn't help with shit. I don't like that shit. If you didn't put in, if you didn't oh. help, if you didn't even fucking this scout. This is triggering. Around, <laughs> fucking send suggestions. You shouldn't. Ain't no back talk. Quiet. Yes. It's like, why do those people be the first people to complain about some shit? I, I actually remember going on a trip with our broke friend and they complaining about the place that we stayed in. Complained about the little activities we did when bitch you're broke. You know what? You are, now that you mention it, me and a friend, we Ugh. paid to take somebody out with us and they were complaining. Yes! <laughs> and then, don't let y'all be smokers. They'll smoke your shit too. Yeah, very true. Ugh! Fuck you, time out. You shouldn't be saying shit. You didn't help with shit. You know what I'm saying? We get to the Airbnb. One thing about me, as long as I got somewhere to lay my head and wash my ass, I'm Gucci. Fuck you, time out. I don't give a fuck. If I'm taking a bath in a fucking rainforest, I can wash my pussy. Fuck you, man, you know what I'm saying? And I can lay down and nap with the elephants. Crazy, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, we get, through the, we get to the Airbnb. We walking around. We looking. Okay, this cute. It's a little vibe, okay? Got a cool little balcony. We can go out there and smoke, you know what I'm saying? Go out there, smoke, drink, play music. Cool, cute little balcony. Walk uh, around. Two bathrooms. So, so we don't got to wait for like one, one of the other bitches to get out the bathroom. We can all handle our business, you know what I'm saying? Two separate rooms so the two sisters can be in their own room together. They're sisters. Of course, they're going to sleep together. And then me and the other girl can be in the other room together, of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool little vibe. Had a nice little kit. Kitchen was small, but it was fucking nice. It was clean. Bitch, the main, the main part, the most important part was at least it's clean. And at least it's somewhere for us to lay and wash our ass. Bitch, we're females and we in hot ass Miami. I don't give a fuck if I was staying in a fucking sand dune from fucking planet Tatooine on Star Wars. You know what I'm saying? As long as, <laughs> as, long as I can wash my ass. That's all that matter. You know what I'm saying? So we get to the Airbnb. Me and the two sisters, we scouting shit out. This shit nice. This shit cool, cool, little vibe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We gonna be in this room. Y'all gonna be in that room. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, the fucking broke bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not even trying to be like that. But the broke bitch walking through that motherfucker. This is the best y'all could do. This is boring. I wanted something with a stripper pole. This we don't even got like a ah. lobby we can go down to and get breakfast in the morning. You know, if you would have yeah. did this place, they would have gave you complimentary breakfast. You could have woke up. You could have went downstairs. We could have went downstairs. Got mimosas if you did this place, or if you did this place right here, we could at least had a pool. Or if you could have did this place right here, we could have been on the. Hey, I want y'all to comment below. Like, what do y'all think that is? Do you think it's the fact that maybe a person who is typically like that? They are used to being spoiled or what do you think that is? Now, I don't think it's used to being spoiled. I think sometimes people like that, they have been um, getting over on people for so long. It's like, it's their life. They, It's like they have just become so fucking good at it. And... Um, because the people we used to hang out with, that's what it was. It's This is so triggering. When, when I say, like, the whole little complaining and, like, bitch, shut the fuck up. The beach. We could have been on a beachfront with a beach view. <sighs> I'm looking at this whole, like, y'all better get up if I say something because I'm going to hurt the feelings. You know what I'm saying? The sister's really just walking around and ignoring the whole because, like I said, they, they friend friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're friend like and, and, and I don't want to I don't want to sit here and talk like we all wasn't like associates. But y'all get what I'm trying to say. It's always gonna be somebody in a group that's closer to the per closer yeah. to that person than what you are. You know what I'm yeah. Me and her had been friends for we had been friends associates for a while, but she knew the sisters longer. So they got them just letting the bitch talk shit. And I'm just standing there like, y'all better than me. Because, hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. You're walking around just talking shit. This it. This the bathroom. This where me and Taco gonna sleep. Let me see y'all room. Oh, that's not fair. Me and Taco should get this room. You didn't pay for shit. You know what I'm saying? You, you didn't pay for a fucking thing. I don't give a fuck if I have to sleep on a couch, bitch, as long as I can lay my big ass head down at the end of the night. <laughs> what are you talking about? Bitch, she started rubbing me the wrong way. She walked through this motherfucker just talking shit. I told her straight up. I said, you want, you want to go to Motel 6? That hoe started laughing, talking about some... 
I mean, no, I'm just saying. You you just saying nothing, bitch. Calm the fuck down. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck around and headbutt your ass in this moment. Right. Moment. Calm down. <laughs> you, you rubbing me the wrong way. It's hot as hell. We just landed. I hate when people do too much fresh off a of flight. Shut yes. up. Let me shower. Let me get this fucking flight off me. You talking too goddamn much. I ain't ate. All I had was them fucking Delta cookies and them Delta crackers with the Delta orange juice. My back hurt. Couldn't let my seat back because there's always a fucking white person sitting behind me. Fuck around and let my seat back. Next thing I know, I'm getting called a nigger. Next thing I know, I'm on a no-fly list. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, you know I'm saying? So, we in the Airbnb. We getting comfortable to hold them. Finish talking her shit. Woo, woo, woo. Bitch, um, first night out. You feel me? First night out. These hoes is like, let's just keep it chill because it's our first night here. And, like, collectively, we tired. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's not do too much, but still, let's have fun. And then, like, the following days, we can turn it up each time. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? I love people with a plan. Because one thing about me, I don't have a fucking plan. I wake up and live day by day. Look at me. You can tell. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bitch, bitch don't got it figured out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even, I'm gonna, not even gonna lie. <sighs> Fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, shit, something cute, but, like, chill. Because, like, really, we just gonna do a hookah lounge. Okay, cool. So, Air we showering, bitches waiting and waiting for the next person to get out so we can go shower. Bitches putting on their little chill but cute motherfucking outfit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, the two sisters got on some Jordans. I got on some forces. This hoe come out. <laughs> I'm talking about, I'm getting irritated. This hoe come out. This bitch got on goddamn stiletto pumps. What? Hey, yeah. Dude, Look up. Like, giving very much diamond for crime off. <laughs> And they're like, we said chill. <laughs> we said, we said chill. You, you know what I'm saying? And, and I, ain't, I ain't even sitting here talking shit. Like, because one thing about me, I do the most when I get dressed. Because I'm Mrs. Put that shit on. Fuck you. Tell me. I do the most when I get dressed. But like, collectively, we agreed and we said chill. Why the fuck is you dressed up like you finna go to the goddamn grand? You dressed up like you finna go to Beyonce Oscars after party. You know what I'm saying? So we all looking at her and we was like, you got heels on. We said we was going to a hookah lounge. Like a hookah lounge. Lounge. That shit is a verb. <laughs> Ain't it? I don't know. Lounge. <laughs> when you think of lounge, what you think of? You think of like just sitting, chilling. They playing some cool little, you know, every right. morning and they play some upbeat. But any other time, they really just playing like some vibed out shit. It's a vibe. Fuck you. Tell me my two chains were lounge. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you, you got on stilettos. Like we finna go to the Shaker Booty Club. Everybody was just like, okay, fuck it. Because she already dressed, fuck it. We not even finna, you know what I'm saying? We not even finna, because we already knew what type of fucking time she was on, so fuck it. They got like this little fucking, I don't know, I was like a Mercedes or something. I don't know. I don't drive Mercedes, bitch. I got a Ford. <laughs> fuck you, Tom. I'm Ford tough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know about all them goddamn luxury and them expensive ass car. I ain't gonna cap. I'm not one of them. I don't want a Mercedes G-Wagon, but I'm not one of them. I, I like, I like muscle shit. I like muscles and fucking trucks. I told you I want a big ass redneck truck. Fuck you, I want one of them big goddamn, I'm in my big red tractor. <laughs> Fuck you, I want one of them, you know what I'm saying? So we need like some sort of like fucking Mercedes. The, the fucking sisters got this shit. I'm talking about the sisters had to check. The sisters got some sort of fucking Mercedes coupe rental. I don't fucking know. So bitch, we getting that shit, right? Um, Here the bitch go again, complaining. Why y'all got a two door? So now every time we got to get in here, y'all got to let the seat up just so we can climb in the back. What I look like climbing out the back of a two-door. Baby, regardless, this motherfucker is a Mercedes. You can't afford it. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Tell me, bitch. You can't afford it. So why are you complaining? You ain't put in on it. You know what I'm saying? Man, just complain, 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 complain. <laughs> hey, criticize, criticize, criticize. Yeah, Fuck you. Tell me, you complaining too much for a bitch who didn't put no money into nothing but $200 for a plane ticket that didn't even cover the whole plane ticket you know what i'm saying so it's the hookah spot the admission is like fucking 15 dollars a person okay cool i ain't gonna cap the hookah spot was jumping 15 dollars a person it was worth 15 bitch it was actually worth like 30 because the motherfucker would jump it you know what i'm saying i'd pay 40 to get them <laughs> i'd have gave him a little 40 ball fuck you talking about i'm not one of them hoes that need 40 dollars i can give up 40 dollars i'd have gave him a little 40 ball to get in that motherfucker that shit was jumping you know what I mean? so admission was 15 a person this bitch here she go I got 10. One of y'all can spot me a five. The fuck? Come on. 
You about to have five Hitching. fucking fingers across your fucking face. I'm finna slap But see, up. but that's what I was saying to begin with. Like, if she can't afford her plane ticket, she definitely, how she gonna afford the other shit? That's what I said. The festivities. It's like, they just penny pinch you. But you have to be careful about motherfuckers like that. Because sometimes motherfuckers can have money and they will spend your money before they will spend theirs. True you bitch word to will smith <laughs> but, um i ain't tripping five dollars or five little funky ass dollars okay cool because i'm gonna go in a hookah spot and spend damn new a hundred to two hundred dollars anyway so um we get in there we all done paid admission we come and now they can't the pay for jump. hookah um uh, fuck you talking about, uh, I keep it real and real. Fuck all the haters and fuck how they feel. I'm getting money, it is what it is. Uh, what about you? <laughs> Bitch, hold on, what am I gonna doing? <laughs> Bitch, I ain't worried about you. <laughs> Bitch, I'm saying what I do. Hey, <laughs> hey, cut a nigga off when my chest got big. We get to like this little section. The little section is like first come, first serve. So um, we sit, we get in this one little section. And then it was like a table right here and a table right there. So then I order my own hookah separately. <laughs> The sisters order a hookah together, and the bitch is sitting there quiet, talking about, can I get a water with lemon? Bitch, don't, don't be one of them people. <laughs> I'm not rich. Well, I knew one of them knew how to make some banging ass lemonade. <laughs> lemon and water. And then they'll take the little free splinter. <laughs> and they'll mix the hoes up and drink some banging ass lemonade. Yes. <laughs> When I go out, I order water with women. But it, it, it's, it's two types of... I'm going to be so shady. I'm going to be so shady. But y'all know I'm telling the truth. It's two types of people in this world. It's people who really enjoy water with lemon. Yes. And then there's people who order water with lemon because they don't have no money to pay for nothing. I'm not even saying... I, hey, bitch. Hey. If you if it's a spade, call it. Fuck it. <laughs> Ain't that the saying? If it's a spade, call it. Fuck you to my bitch. If the if the shoe fits, stupid ass. Like oh, it's people out here who really enjoy water with lemon. I'm one of those people, and there's people who just get water with lemon because like that's all they can fucking get. And the twin, the twin, not the twins, but the sisters. I'm gonna just call them twins anyway because like anytime I see two sisters, I automatically just. You're twins. <laughs> Fuck you, talking about Chloe and Haley, twins. Beyonce and Solange, twins. <laughs> Fuck you, talking about I don't, you're twins. I don't give a fuck. Me and my sister, twins. <laughs> and it's two other ones. They're twins. Fuck you, talking about the sisters. They get they they get a hookah together. You know what I'm saying? And the bitch is just like, let me get a water and some lemon. So you know they started bringing out the hookahs and shit. And they come back and they was like, do y'all want drinks? I said no, not yet. Like I'm a I'm gonna do a drink, but not right now. Drinks. The sister was like, let me get four shots of Hennessy. Okay, so four shots. So me, the two sisters, and the girl, they got her a shot type shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about y'all, but shots not cheap. <laughs> shot, shots not cheap. Maybe I'm right. cheap. Shots not cheap. I don't give a yeah. fuck. Hennessy shots? Hundred and shit and shit like got there. Twenty dollars a shot, <laughs> ain't it? Fuck you talking about if I'm doing the math correctly, bitch, shots is not cheap, you know what I'm saying? Especially in club settings. Clubs yeah. beat your ass on top of the fucking head for alcohol. Yeah. They be finessing like fuck. Like especially if they let you sit in a section that's first come, first serve. So you not paying for the section. So I'm funny. That's get why and I know you just told your daughter that, but um we take shots before we go in the club. Yes. Yeah, that's how you do that shit. Yes. My daughter, she's planning on going to this expensive restaurant. And I want to say, like, a drink is almost, like, $15. I said, girl, you better take you some shots before you go. I said, and when you buy that drink, that drink will go on and get It'll you It'll carry you through. Yeah. Get some money out your ass one way or the other. I got $15 from your ass at the door. I let you sit for free. The hookah itself is going to be like $45. You want refills? You want some more coal? The coal is $2. Refills is $2. Fuck you talk. And you want some alcohol? Yeah, crazy. You want Hennessy shots? <laughs> ah, mm, getting greedy. Fuck you talk. Them niggas be Mr. Krabs and that motherfucker. I'm talking about like they be greedy yes. in that bitch. Like, mm, they get four shots. Okay, shot for me, shot for the two sisters, shot for the girl. Okay, cool. Thank y'all so much. Thanks for the shot. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we take our shots. Uh, uh, uh. So the fucking bartenders, like the hookah people come back again. They was like, y'all want to do more shots or y'all want some like bigger drinks now? Do a bigger drink. 
but then I'm gonna get four more Hennessy shots for us. Okay, cool. So I get a big drink. The two sisters get a big drink. This bitch was like, just let me get some more water and some lemon. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Because now it's getting to the point where it's like, okay, maybe you're trying to balance it out because you know we're gonna keep doing shots until eventually one of mm -hmm. us get a big fucking bottle or get a big drink. Okay, cool. So you're trying to balance it out. You're trying to be smart, trying to play it safe. Like, let me keep putting water on top of this fucking alcohol type shit. No, it wasn't nothing like that. The bitch just kept getting water because she ain't had no fucking money. So let me tell y'all. I said, let me do a big drink. I think I got like a... One thing about me, I don't know drinks. I don't drink that heavy, so I don't know drinks. I just go off of what the fuck is on the menu or I go off of what the fuck I've ordered before and I know that I like it. So yeah. one thing about me, I'm going to either do a Bahama, a Bahama Bay Breeze. <laughs> Is that is that a drink everywhere? Is that a look? A blue like, motherfucker. Like, Cause I don't know my drinks either, but I remember when I used to go to the club, I used to be like, let me just let me get a blue motherfucker. Cause I just remember that name. Yeah, me, I used to say a purple passion. <laughs> Are you new here? <laughs> Are you new here? Stupid ass, not real shit. Like, is that a drink everywhere? Because I had that shit at one club, and ever since then, every club I go to, I ask. Do y'all make Bahama Bay Bree? Look, in there. Do y'all? <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys make Bahama Bay Breeze? <laughs> like, bitch, no, with your fruity ass. If you don't get you a fucking 40, bitch, like, bitch, you're a grown man and this motherfucker asking for a Bahama Bay Breeze. I either do a Bahama Bay Breeze or I do a blue motherfucker. <laughs> These are the two drinks I really fucking remember and yep. I know that I enjoyed them when I was at a club yep. back in fucking 2015. Them blue motherfuckers be strong as hell, though. They do. But that's a, a memorable name. Man, I remember when I first had a blue motherfucker, I was at a, um, I had went to see these male entertainers, y'all. I had two. When I tell you, I was like, what the fuck is in that drink? I was so fucked up that night. Yes. <laughs> they be strong as hell. So ever since then, did my two safe drinks. I said, let me do four more Hennessy shots and then let me do a blue motherfucker. Yep. And that was it for me. You know what I'm saying? Because I already had my hookah. I just want a drink now and another shot. So I said, okay, cool. So they went to the two sisters. They was like, do y'all want like a drink drink or y'all good with the shots? They ordered two fucking drinks. I don't know what they ordered, but they both ordered two drinks. They went to the bitch with the water. You good? You want a drink? She's talking about something? No, just, just like the shots that you want to bring out. Okay, cool. So everybody's sitting there. All she got is like the empty shot cup and her water and lemon. No hookah on her table, nothing. So I'm hitting the hookah, uh, 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 going crazy. One thing about me, bitch, you're not going to get it if you don't ask. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to just take my tip out and pass it to you. Ask. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all learned that growing up. Closed mouths don't get fed. Yeah. <laughs> and I live by that. Crazy. I'm not going to, I'm not going to feel sorry for you because you in a club with no money. If you don't have no money, you shouldn't be in a club. And I'm one of them people. I don't give a fuck. I, I, all that, like, when I be like, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, I live by that. But at the same time, while I'm here for that good time, I'm going to make sure I'm taking care of what the fuck I need to take care of in the first place. If I don't have no money to be out and enjoy myself and turn up, I'm not going to be out enjoying myself turning up. I'm going to be handling what the fuck I need to be handling. And then after that, I can play all day and fucking turn up and chillax and relax and if you don't have no money why are you out i don't i don't trust people like that you hey <laughs> you going out into a world like this with no money you're bold as shit especially in miami boy y'all seen that one tweet and it was like motherfuckers be going to miami with a hundred dollars and then come back with all that animosity oh god this was that girl this was that girl you came to miami with like a hundred and eighty five dollars and gonna have animosity with us Bitch, let me get to all that. So, um, we getting deeper into the fucking night. Niggas turned up. I'm feeling the shots. I'm feeling the drinks. Um, 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 um. I keep it realer than real. Fuck all the haters and fuck all the We that bit turned up, you know what I'm saying? Good little time, good little vibe. This bitch just go mute. You know what I'm saying? Like, she not saying shit to nobody. She just on her phone. I hate folks like that. Why are you in a club just on your phone? What you can you came in here just to scroll? You could have did that at the crib. Yeah, right. You're taking up space, dummy. I could have had a bad bitch in this section with me. You taking up space. <laughs> you just in a in a section. <laughs> Stupid ass. You don't take your <laughs> you don't take your ass the fuck back to the crib with that shit. I hate people like that. Like why you just you came out 
to do what the fuck you could have did at your house. Like, what's wrong, yeah. bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, we all in the section, the, the, the twins, the sisters, <laughs> they done stood up. Them bitches hitting the hookah. They down there dancing, smoking. I done stood up. I'm hitting the hookah. I'm goddamn drinking, smoking, turned up. The bitch is just, like, the only one on the couch giving very much I'll Oscar the grouch. Fuck you, tell me. Like, bitch, why are you so upset? Because we having a good time? You upset because nobody offered for you to hit the hookah or nobody offered to get you a drink when we already then came out our pocket equally to give you money for your flight that you uh. fucked up. We put my mo- I put money towards the Airbnb, but majority of the money came from the fucking sisters. And then they got the rental out their own pocket. I didn't put no money towards the rental. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Bitch, you you got an attitude. <laughs> I started getting mad. Bitch, you got a <laughs> Bitch, you got an attitude with us because we already breaking bread. We breaking so much. You know what I'm saying? I don't like ungrateful fucking people. Don't do no shit like that. Bitch, if you felt some type of way, if you wanted some hookah, you could have just fucking asked for some hookah. Bitch, you ain't here being a crybaby. <laughs> you over here mad about hookah, bitch. It's not that goddamn sad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, this hoe on her phone just with the biggest fucking attitude. So, one of the sisters leaned over in her, into her ear. And she was like, you good? What's wrong? You don't feel good? She was like, no, I'm just not enjoying myself. I can't overhear. One thing about me, I got good ass here. I'm not enjoying myself. And the sister was like, what's wrong? Like, what the fuck? You don't feel good? No, I just feel like y'all being funny. Ain't nobody asking if I wanted a hookah. And the sister was like, why you didn't just what? ask to get a hookah? She's talking about some, what I look like sharing a hookah with three bitches. And what? And y'all got y'all own separate hookah. Like, ain't nobody. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Woof, bitch, I'm flabbergasted. I'm baffled. Fuck you, Timat. Like, what I look like sharing a hookah with three other bitches? Y'all got y'all own hookah? We got our own hookah because we pay for this shit with our money. Fuck you, Timat. Exactly. Like, we don't all have our own hookah. The two sisters is splitting the hookah because they're sisters. What sense does it make for them to get two separate fucking hookahs when they're blood sisters? Right. I, I would share a hookah with my sister, you know what I'm saying? The only motherfucker with their own separate hookah is Taco. So, bitch, <laughs> so bitch, if you being fucking funny, you need to speak a little bit louder, bitch, so I can hear you better. <laughs> Fuck you, Timat. You mad at me because I got my own separate hookah. What you mad? <laughs> Why you didn't just ask to hit the hookah? You ain't got to start acting funny, hoe, like... And like I said, I'm not finna offer, bitch. Fuck you. So doing? she couldn't afford to bring her, get her own hookah or get her own shit. She just drinking water with this with this lemon that she done put in there. Maybe she done created a cool little lemonade like some of them do. But then get mad when nobody offered you to smoke to, to let them play. Right, but she gonna say she not enjoying herself. Talking about y'all didn't ask me if I wanted hookah. See what I'm saying exactly. about when you offer shit. People automatically feel like that's what you're supposed to do. You've been doing this all alone. So they get used to spending your money. That shit is annoying. And now look at the attitude that she's having. It's almost like she's trying to make them feel obligated to do shit for her. And that's With why- that funky ass attitude, I'd have been like, well, bitch, we can go home. Would have ruined the whole moment. You away on the other side of the couch from me. What the fuck? I'm finna fucking maneuver around you with the goddamn hookah. Hold on, excuse me, excuse me. Bitch, you wanna, bitch, you. Hold <laughs> on, my fault. My fault. I dropped the tip. Get the tip. Right. Excuse me, y'all. Look how inconvenient this look. Uh, bitch, you wanna hit my hookah? No! <laughs> 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 had because, like, nobody offered her hookah. But, like, bitch, to begin with, we don't all came out our pocket like I fucking keep repeating. We don't all came out our pocket collectively to help your ass out since we even got on the fucking plane. So the fact that you just thought somebody was going to come out here and keep babying your ass and taking care of you like a little ass kid. No, bitch. Because like if you was broke or if you was fucked up in finances, you shouldn't be in Miami to fucking begin with. You should be somewhere handling your goddamn finances. That's what I said. Like, time out. Miami gonna always be here, bitch. It's not that goddamn serious. It's not that goddamn lit. It's literally the same thing you do in Miami. You can do that shit back home. I prob- You can do that shit in Atlanta three times a night. Sister finished talking to her. She still just stayed quiet the entire time. So the sister, the sister who got the shots the first time, she leaned over and she was like, do you want to drink? Like, do you want to drink, drink? And the girl was like, yeah, I guess. With a fucking attitude. Oh! I was standing there. I grabbed the other sister. I was like, why your sister offering her shit and she being a bitch? And she was like, oh, Taco, please don't. No! No! <laughs> I, I'm one of them. I love when the motherfucker be like, 
please don't start. Because one thing about me. <laughs> I'm a star. Wrap up those fryers. Wrap <laughs> up those fryers. Because I am sure hungry for one. Help. Help. In my SpongeBob voice. Fuck you, tell me. I'm gonna start every time, bitch. Fuck you, tell me. If it's a start button, bitch, I'm gonna push that motherfucker repeatedly. My thing is, you being rude to people who's being nice to you. You being rude to people who coming out their pocket. We don't have to do none of this shit. So the fact that the sister even leaned over and asked, do you want a drink? Uh, I guess. Why you got an attitude? I would have been like, man, it says hell yeah. Thank you so much for fucking asking. But, bitch, yeah. I be forgetting that we all fucking different bitches. And a lot of y'all bitches don't got no goddamn common sense or no fucking morals or no goddamn manners or no fucking etiquette. Fuck you, tell me. So, <laughs> I start getting mad for the sister. So, I grabbed the other sister. I'm like, why is she offering to get her something to drink and she being a bitch? She in the club talking about some, oh, my God, pl taco, please. Taco, please don't start. Nah, ho, because you already knew I was going to start. Fuck you, tell me. Y'all shouldn't have bought me out this motherfucker. Because one <laughs> thing about me, I'm going to say it. <laughs> one thing about me, I'm going to say it. I don't give a fuck. So, so after I finished talking to the other sister, I get out the section. <laughs> bitch, <laughs> bitch, I get out the section. Fuck you, tell me. Because it's like a you couch. So, you know, you know how embarrassing it is to get out the fucking you couch. <laughs> Bitch, you gotta go all the way. <laughs> you see? You see? The fuck is like a shoe horse couch. Bitch, you gotta go all the way the fuck. Bitch, that was me. I'm like, uh uh, hold on. Music playing. I can't get real with music. Fuck all the music. Fuck how they feel. And I get to the other side. <laughs> I finally get to the other side of the goddamn section. I'm like, bro, what's up with you? <laughs> bitch, bitch, imagine trying to look hard and you just went fucking. You just did real. Imagine trying to pull up on a bitch and press a bitch and look hard and you just fucking. Excuse me. Let me get right here. Let me get past you. Excuse me. My fault. Don't drop that. Excuse me. I can make my purse on the floor. Your card on the floor? Excuse me. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm saying, bro, what's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> you can't be hard. You can't be hard. You know, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, what's up, bro? You good? She's talking about something. I just feel like y'all being funny. All right, baby. Funny. Fucking with me. You don't know funny, baby, because I'm, I'm fucking hilarious. Fuck you talking about. What you mean we being funny? She was like, I just feel like, like, y'all got y'all got drinks and y'all got hookah. And then it's just me over here with, like, just little, two little shots. But see, and this is what I was talking about with that shadow work. The shadow work, or whatever you want to call it, it just, uh, or rather than even shadow work, checking, learning to check your ego. It's like, rather than her putting it out on them, as far as why she feels shitty, she needs to just sit down and understand, like, they're not acting funny. They're just tired of your shit. Like, not they, even that. It's like, it's their money. They knew that they was coming out of town. So they're paying for the things that they want to pay for while they're out of town. Yeah. So You can't make them obligated to do shit for you. If you was broke, that's the shadow work. If you didn't have the work, the money to come, you should have not came because you're thinking that people are going to automatically do stuff for you. And those are the type of thoughts you need to have. Like, I really need to get my shit together. I really need to get to a place in my life where I can go on trips like this and I can enjoy myself freely and not feel restricted because I are limited because I don't have the money. Right. So rather than getting mad at them, because that's what's happening, you get mad at them and that's not who you should be getting mad at. You, you should, should just, be mad at your motherfucker self. Yeah, you should be doing some self-reflection, like, and figuring out, like, I need to just do better. But she get mad at them. And that's what be happening when you don't do the shadow work or the checking your ego. You're getting mad at the wrong people. Right, but the thing is, when you know who you are, those type of people, they don't even phase you. Now, you'll probably cuss their ass out like Taco about to do. When she went around that you. But if you're not confident in yourself, then you will feel, like, obligated to help them. Mm-hmm. And no, no, no. And water. And I was like, well, Shawty, if you wanted something, why you didn't just ask us? And she's talking about something. Well, if we all here together, why would I ask? See? The obligation. Ooh, bitch, I almost hit her ass with that minky. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you talking about just one good minky. Just minky. <laughs> let it rock. Like I'm fucking Mortal Kombat. I'm talking about like, excuse me? Like, what you say? Like, <laughs> Y'all not me had a moment where I was doing the minky, minky in the mirror. <laughs> In the mirror. Well, remember when I was doing it out loud? I was like, Mickey, Mickey. I know. We both said it. And we was like, Taco ass got us right here saying this shit. But then you was also watching a um, lot of anime. A lot of anime. Yeah, I had to go into my little cocoon. And yeah. during that time, I was watching anime and playing video games. And yes, I and was I saying And I think Mickey. that really just brought it the up. The Mickey, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> New here? Like, what the fuck? 
fuck you mean, bitch? Like, <laughs> I'm saying, like, if we all planned this trip together and we all came together, why would I ask? Oh? Uh, boy, I'm talking about one of the sisters had to stand up and, like, goddamn nudge me a little bit. Because that bitch already knew I was going to take off like a rocket in that motherfucker. I was going to take off like the Migo. I said, huh? She talking about some, like, I'm saying, like, y'all being funny. Ah, but I cut that bitch off right there. I said, nobody being funny. It's just the fact that, like, the twins had to come in. <laughs> the twins. I'm like, the sisters had to come out their pocket for the rental. They paid for majority of Airbnb. On top of that, we just had to come out our pocket to help you with the rest of your plane ticket. Then I just had to give $5 at the door just so you could get in. And then one of the twins just got us some shots. And then I got us some shots. You you got an attitude with us? And she's like, I don't have an attitude. I just feel like y'all being funny. We being funny? No, bitch. You, came, you. I'm not saying this to her, but I'm just thinking. I'm like, you came to Miami with $25. <laughs> I, it, it was more than that. But, bitch, a hundred something dollars in Miami? You might as well just come out that bit with $20. You know what I'm saying? A hundred dollars? You're not going to have a good time in Miami with a hundred dollars. Don't never do that. Don't, don't, never, don't go to no fucking city with just a hundred dollars. You're tripping. A hundred dollars in Miami money? That two dollars. Crazy. What the fuck? I'm sitting on the other side of the section. I'm just trying to get some straightening because I'm like, I I'm going to pick this fucking hookah up and put it upside your fucking temple because who are you talking to like that? She wasn't rubbing me the wrong way. It was just more so like she had an attitude with the sisters and I didn't like that. Them not even my fucking friends them your friends so the fact that i'm having to check you about the way you talking to your friends bitch you a sucky fucking friend what the fuck wrong with you other sister came nudged me a little bit she was like don't even worry about it because i already ordered her to drink and i ordered her a hookah i started getting loud i said yeah but you shouldn't have to do all that because this is not our this is not our child like right she knew what we was coming to miami to do this bitch stood up bitch bitch don't do that don't do that. Because now I feel like you're trying to threaten me. I'm 5'1", and I weigh 111 pounds. I feel like you're threatening me. Now, <laughs> now when I pick your ass up, and, and I, I DDT your ass, and I put you on your fucking neck, and I paralyze you, I'm going to be in the wrong. <laughs> don't, don't stand up. But this bitch stood up. I'm talking about something. I'm like, I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you know, a bitch get a pull in her pants. I'm talking about, I'm saying. She's talking about something. No, I just want to go to the restroom because like, I, I just don't have time for that. Bitch, goddamn, uh, stepped out the section, went to the restroom. I'm talking to the sisters. I'm like, it ain't no way she acting like this. And we all done came out of our pocket to help Shawty out. And I was like, I'm not even trying to make this like a money issue. Like, the last thing I'm going to ever worry about is money because I'm going to always have it regardless. But, like, you're being rude to people who helping you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And they just sitting there like, yeah, but we used to it. She always act like this when we go out. And y'all continue to go out with her? That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, the most I, the mo the, I told them the most we've ever done is just went out and got food. And like I said in the beginning, food don't stress. I don't give a fuck about food because if you with me, we're going to eat well. I'm going to take you to my favorite fucking food spots. And it'll be on me because I love fucking eating and I love introducing people to new food spots. Food don't fucking... It, I don't give a fuck. But the fact that we in a whole nother <coughs> city and you acting like this... And, and what we're doing is not even a necessity. This was just something that we did just to have fun for a random fucking weekend. And you're acting like this. Yeah, you rubbing me the wrong way. And let's not forget, it's day one. Off at the hookah spot. We fuck around. We just get to get like, like goddamn walking. We walking around the Miami Strip. Walking around like outside, like piers and boardwalks and shit. We walking up and down the street. Walking like, it's like long fucking stretches of like just bars and clubs and the one of the sisters and fucked around and lit a blunt so now we smoking and walking type shit we passing by like little kiosks and little stores we running in there grabbing shit that that's where we fucked up again we grabbing shit one thing about me if i see something i like i'm gonna get it i was grabbing like bracelets i was grabbing like cool ass hats and shit they had like cute ass little hoodies and the twins grabbing like fucking makeup and cute little shit okay cool so we all just doing our thing here the bitch go again acting fucking funny like somebody's supposed to break their fucking pockets for her to have a good time like you mad at us for coming in the fucking store <laughs> we did like a big lap so now we lap we lapping we looping back coming back to the car we get in the car um we get back to the airbnb it's probably like fucking 2 a.m now and it's just kind of like you know what i'm saying like everybody agreed that like we would take it calm since our it's our first night here type shit we wake up the next morning bitch is talking about brunch but like, we in each other room. Like, y'all want to go here? Y'all want to do this? Whenever. You get what I'm saying? Like, sending the menu back and forth. Like, oh, I'm going to get this. Oh, I'm going to get that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. One thing about this bitch, like, anytime we got to talking about, like, 
what we gonna do or what we gonna get she not doing shit but like either sending outfits or talking about what she gonna wear bitch that's cool and all you come looking cute as hell naomi campbell but bitch what you gonna put in your stomach? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all hoes be in Miami, fine as fuck, but hungry. Like, <laughs> bitch, bitch, <laughs> bitch is coming to Miami. Bitch is be coming to Miami to have a goddamn a uh, runway show. Bitch, you out here starving, dumbass. Yo, your stomach touching your back, bitch, because you done spent all your funds on these little skanky ass outfits. Bitch, you, your stomach sound like fucking Chewbacca from Star Wars. Now look at you. We get in the brunch spot. We get in this nice ass table. The table's like facing the fucking ocean. Bitch, just beautiful, elegant, classy as hell. But at the same time, it was like a little, little hood spot. You know what I'm saying? They playing like goddamn juvenile. They playing fucking hot boys. I want you want, girl. I need a hot boy. And what you need, girl. <laughs> they brought out the hookah. They brought out. And like the hookah was huge, bitch. Like it was one of them hookahs. You could put it on the ground and stand. It would stand up and you could smoke it. And they get to taking our orders. So, you know, me, one thing about me, I'm going to get French toast. <laughs> one thing about me, I'm going to get French toast. I don't give a fuck where I'm at. I don't care if I'm at goddamn, <laughs> bitch, but McDonald's. <laughs> Y'all got French toast? Fuck you too. I love French toast. They go, they take the two sisters order. Two sisters order mimosas as well. I'm talking about the sisters had a check. Sisters ain't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So the sisters was like, okay, let us just do two fucking mimosa pictures. Like, take her mimosa off. We just gonna get two picture mimosas. Okay, cool. I'm talking about the mimosa. They brought them two big ass things out and set them on the table. I'm talking about we had mimosas until we all finished fucking eating, right? So then they get to the girl. They was like, oh, what you want to eat? If it's time I saw, I'm just gonna drink the mimosa. You are going to die. <laughs> you know what I mean? you're, you're in hot ass. It, it got it. 80, 90 degrees in Miami. You you ain't eat since we got on a flight and had them Delta cookies. Fuck you to that. Like, bitch, you running off a of cookie. You running off a of Delta cookies, hookah from last night, and Hennessy shots. And then that big drink you had, you're going to die. One of the sisters looked over and she was like, if you want some food, get some food. She's talking about some no because I don't want nobody acting funny. Bitch, I feel like you fucking throwing shade and I'm talking about, bitch, I'm a tree. I don't give a fuck. No, bitch, don't play with me like that. Like, so I'm, why are you being weird to me? Like, why are you being weird to me because you broke? Like, cut it out. You you being weird to me because you broke and I'm the one calling out your rude ass fucking behavior. I'm not calling you out because you broke. I could give a fuck about you being broke, bitch. We done all been there, done that. I don't give a fuck about you not having funds. I give a fuck about the fact that you don't have funds and you being a bitch to the people that have the funds and that's helping you have fun. Yeah. Fuck you talking about, bitch. Fuck you mean? So... <laughs> The sister was like, if you want some food, please get some food. Like, it's going to be on my bill. I don't mind. This bitch talking about some, okay, well, I'm just going to do a side of bacon and just let me do like a pancake. And the man was like, okay, cool. So um, he ran back, took the orders back. Bitch, now now I'm, I'm giving them bitches a silent treatment because I feel like I feel like you fucking playing with me, bitch. I don't got no smoke with the fucking twins. I don't give a fuck about them. It's you. And I'm talking about this big ass hookah, bitch. I'm going to pick this motherfucker up like I'm going to fuck batter up. Fuck you and I'm going <laughs> to knock your ass out. Stop playing with me, bitch. The bitches get talking. Talking about Y'all like the spot last night. They talking. I'm not saying shit. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, don't talk to me because now I'm like my fucking mood is ruined. <laughs> bitch is early as fuck. I ain't even had no goddamn coffee. Y'all bitches got me out here drinking fucking mimosa. I'm not even a mimosa bitch. I'm a coffee bitch. Fuck you, tell me. <laughs> so on top of the bitch rubbing me the wrong way, I also didn't have my fucking coffee. Yeah, hold on. Play me. I am not one of them hoes. So I'm sitting at the table. Them hoes get talking. I'm ignoring them bitches. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm petty. Fuck you talking about in my little dark voice. Bitch, you petty. Bitch, I'm petty too. They're bringing the food out. We all eating, busting that shit down. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. I'm goddamn. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. I'm giving very much like I haven't ate in three days. I'm goddamn scarfing that shit. <laughs> the twins scarfing that shit. And here go this little uppity, rude ass. I'm picking that shit. My turkey bacon not even all that. It's all right. The pancake doughy. They didn't even cook my pancake all the way. I'm okay, so is it her trying to avoid, uh, avoid the embarrassment of being broke? Or she's in denial? No, because it, at that point, you're bringing attention to yourself. Because you're acting ungrateful. I'm just trying to understand so why she's like, acting like it's this. It's like, but what she's trying to do is say the place that they picked is not all that. But you so she's have, in denial. But you don't have room to judge anything because you're broke, bitch. Yeah, she's in denial. You need to sit over there and drink your lemon water. Uh -huh, That's what you need to do.
Time out, I almost picked that fucking mimosa picture up and drowned that bitch with it. Now it's getting to the point where it's like, because somebody else is paying for this shit, I feel like that's why you being funny and that's why you being petty. Because if this shit was coming out her pocket, I'm talking about that bitch would have been. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, he fucking that shit up. Eat, eat, eat. Big ass. I'm talking about if it was her shit, I'm talking about she would have ate the plate and a fork with your big ass. Come out, bitch. Like, you only being funny like this because, like, Damn. you feel like I'm being funny with you, but I'm not being funny with you. I'm being, I'm being funny with the way that you're being fucking funny because I don't like rude ass. I don't like that. Bitch, that shit's some malarkey. Fuck you to that. Like, don't be rude to people who helping you. That's not nice. We finish up fucking brunch. You know what I'm saying? We finish both them pictures of the fucking mimosas. The hookah cold and blew out, went out. I'm talking about, we done smoked the shisha till that bitch was black. Fuck you to my. Bitch, we all got them full fucking tipsy damn near. We getting up, we leaving. Um. Uh. To pay, you gotta take you gotta take the fucking <laughs> bill up to the front to pay. So I grab the bill one. for my plate and the hookah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I pay for that big ass hookah. I don't mind because the sisters got them two big ass pictures. Sisters grab they bills for you know what I'm saying? Because like since they sisters, they put it on one bill, and I guess like one sister's gonna pay. So like one of the sisters grabbed the bill for they plates, and then they got them pictures of mimosas and then the bitch the bitch they like they said they said we'll pay for it if you want some food so we get up to the front one thing about me don't 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 embarrass me <laughs> you know what I'm saying? look look i don't care about being embarrassed in front of white people don't embarrass me period i don't give a fuck if we in front of yeah. fucking indigenous Who people yeah. i don't give a fuck i don't give a fuck about the people that's around you're embarrassing me you fucking up my character i don't give a fuck about these folks I don't give a fuck. You not embar I don't feel embarrassed in front of these people. I feel embarrassed for myself. Fuck <laughs> you. For my cause the only thing that matters to me is how I fucking feel and how something make me feel. I don't give a fuck about these folks, you know what I'm saying? Don't get to doing all that extra shit like take this off the bill because it wasn't even good. It wasn't even prepared oh, well. Lord. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because like honestly, truly, if it was just You know what? <laughs> that make me think too. Like again, this person that they didn't really have the money, but we would like come together and help them. They would, when we would go to restaurants, they would be the main one complaining, complaining about their meal. They, girl, it'll be like a meal that was completely made, and they'll send the entire plate back so that the entire thing could get cooked or shit like that. Yeah, or say they'll eat like eat enough and then just say I don't even want anything. Yes. Yeah. So why is it's just so interesting to me how this is a common thing again. She's experienced it, I've experienced it, you experienced it. So it must be something like it's a certain type it's of like people. It's like a motherfucking thief. It's a certain type of people that's out there. Yeah. And it's kind of like if I have those characteristics, I just need to work on that. Yes. Wow. And if I didn't finish it or if I didn't even touch it or eat it, take that shit off my bill, bro. Fuck with me. Because I I need, you know what I'm saying? Or I'm one of the people, I'll send that shit back. I don't like how this tastes. But what you not finna do is scarf that motherfucking plate down that big throat goat ass fucking esophagus <laughs> and then get to the front. You're not even fucking paying for it. Get to the front. Hop in front of me and the sisters. Get up to the fucking register. Can you take the turkey bacon and the pancake off because it wasn't even good? But bitch, if we all turn our fucking heads towards no the plate table, empty. I'm talking about, bitch, you done damn took a bite out the plate like it was fucking edible, That's like it was at right. Willy Wonka factory. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm saying, then bitch, I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about, this. and that can low key explain why she might be in her financial situation because it's kind of yeah. like a lot of people notice people who have money or is not caught up in not having money or feeling or living in lack it's certain things that we just won't do like if you sat there and you ate the bacon you ate the pancake you're not gonna go up and try to finesse them to take this shit off i know it's not right she just played abracadabra with the plate i'll see if the shit was still on the plate right like if it's not good while you're eating it you 
complain then and have them fix it right yes. then and there. Don't go up and do that. But it's kind of like you notice people who always try to be slick, people who always try to get over, those tend to be the people who be the brokest. I can only imagine what her life looked like now. Yeah, it's like you got to have integrity, you got to have morals, and you will see that reflect in different aspects of your life. Yeah. Think you be thinking you getting away with shit, trying to get over, maybe you think you slick, but it reflects in your life. Maybe the way you're living, your bank accounts, just different ways it will show itself. This bitch got to the front of the line, cut us off. You not paying for shit. I, I, I like, y'all probably was like, well, maybe she was trying to fuck with the sisters and like make they bill less. That don't matter. You done cut us off. I'm talking about this bitch done got damn beelined in front of us. Done did the fucking, the two C slide in front of us and got in front of us with the receipt that was the sisters tell my son yeah can you take the turkey and the pan the turkey bacon and the pancake off because it wasn't even that good when i tell y'all all three of us like looked at each other like the bitch literally swallowed the bitch didn't even goddamn chew fuck you tell you i the bitch ain't chew the bitch inhaled the, the whole pancake and all three slices of the turkey bacon and then sucked down the fucking mimosa and you talking about it wasn't good take it off you're not paying for it so bitch we standing there she's talking about some yeah can you, can you take it off i looked at her I looked at the man, the man looking at us. I'm looking at the sisters. The sisters looking at her. I'm looking back at the man. I'm looking at the bill. I'm looking at Miami just as a collective. <laughs> I said, what the hell? I said, bruh, <laughs> I'll tell me one thing about me. I'ma say it. Fuck you tell me. I looked at her. I said, bruh, you, you finish pancake and the bacon. That bitch looked at me. It said, I'm saying, Taco, what's up? <sighs> I've been waiting for this my whole fucking life. What are you talking about? Let's go. <laughs> like that. What you mean, what's up? Shadi, what, what the fuck you mean? Fuck you mean, what's up? Because that can go three fucking ways. You can mean, what's up? Like, good day. How are you? Howie. You can mean, what's up? Like, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, what's up? I'm saying, what's up with you, Shadi? Let me spit some game at you real quick. I'm saying, like, you, you got bitch. Are you bitch, saying, like, you what's up? Somebody, like, or you can mean, what's up? Like, bitch, I beat your ass. Right. Like, all three of those gonna rub me the wrong way, especially coming from you, bitch. Don't play with me like that. <laughs> I'm saying, Taco, what's up? Huh? <laughs> Are you new here? <laughs> you gotta be new here because you can't be talking to me crazy. Like, what the hell? I said, you telling him to take it off the bill like you paying for it. I said, you ate the whole pancake. Fuck you. Fuck you. Thought I wasn't going to repeat myself. You think I'm a bitch? Do it look like my mama raised a bitch? If my mama raised anything, she, she raised a pussy eater, bitch. And one thing about <laughs> me, I eat pussy, but I'm not pussy. Don't play with me, bitch. I said, you talking about take it off the bill. <laughs> I, uh, uh, let, let me repeat myself uh, a little bit louder for the bitch in the back with no money. Fuck you. Tell me. I said... You telling him to take it off the bill like you paying for it. You ate the whole pancake and all three pieces of the bacon. She's talking about some, yeah, but I didn't enjoy it. What the fuck world you live in where if you don't enjoy something, you scarf it the fuck down like you Kirby. Like, like what are you, like you Pac-Man eating, eating them goddamn, what the fuck Pac-Man be eating? Them oh, no, I just know his ass be like, wop -a, wop -a, wop -a, wop -a. <laughs> I'm telling you, she was at the table giving very much hungry, hungry hippo. Fuck you, tell me, bitch, don't play me like that. Boy, you're not paying for it, neither Taco, the sister's paying for it. And exactly, that's the problem. Like, I told this bitch, straight, we having this conversation in front of the goddamn waiter, nigga. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. One thing about me, I I'm going to say what the fuck need to be said. I said, and that's the problem. Like, ever since we got out here, we all that came out of our pocket and you keep acting fucking funny with us. Like, like you mad at us because we taking care of you. That bitch said... Ain't no grown hoes taking care of me. I take care of myself. Me and this bitch like, damn, they're going back and forth now. The sisters and grab one of the sisters and grab me, the other sisters and grab her. Tell myself, okay, we just gonna pay for it. Like, it's not that fucking serious. We're gonna pay for all of it. I don't need no hoe to pay. <laughs> I'm talking about, I don't need no hoe to pay for me. I will pay for my own shit. The sister's talking about something. Nah, talk about, I got it. Don't even worry about it. Like, just, just let us, just like, if it's that serious to you, you can Apple pay me later. But like, just stop. Them hoes pay for the shit. Uh, we all leave. We all walk off. I'm telling them bitches right now. <laughs> I told them hoes straight up while we while we was walking to the car. I said that hoe trying that hoe trying to fight me. I promise y'all we all going to jail. <laughs> Collectively, I don't care. I I told them straight up like we walking back to the car like and the bitch walking ahead of us like we don't have the key. 
dumb bitch where you going because one thing about me i will toss these keys none of us going nowhere yeah i get like that i don't give a fuck you're not gonna play with bitch you're not gonna disrespect me and think that's what you're gonna do and then just walk away bitch i'm will smith <laughs> i i'm word to will you're not gonna disrespect me and then think that's just gonna be it so i'm talking about i told the sisters i said i'm gonna tell y'all straight up if we get in this car and this bitch try me we all going to jail Man, them hoes looked at me like, what the fuck? What you mean? I mean what I said, baby. Fuck you to my, get in the car, come on. <laughs> come on and see. Fuck you to my, get, get in the car, little baby. Don't be scared now. Get in the fucking car. Fuck you to my. So, bitch, um, we get in the car. I'm in the passenger seat. One sister in the front driving. No. Hold up, but what you think she could have meant by that, though? She said, I'm going to fuck her ass up. So, meaning somebody going to call the cops. We all together. We all finna go to jail. Oh. Cause it's gonna be a scene. Yeah, that's why I'm saying a scene. Yeah. But I'm like, damn. Yeah, it's gonna be a scene. They all getting locked up. The other sister in the back with the other girl. We get back to the Airbnb. These bitches got damn call a fucking family meeting, like a fucking intervention. <laughs> I'm some look. I don't, I don't know what y'all what y'all two got going on, but I'm let y'all know right now. Me and my sister came down here to have a good time. So whatever y'all got going on, y'all need to figure it out. I looked at the sister. I said, Shawty, I was having a good time with y'all as well. Y'all not even my friends. Y'all her friends. I'm here for her. But ever since I've been here for her, she been acting like I'm in a fucking way or I'm rubbing her the wrong way. And I was like, I don't like that shit. And I was like, like I said, y'all not my friends. But the fact that she's standing here and she treating y'all like this and she talking to us like this collectively, I'm going to say something. If you're not going to say something, I'm going to say something. Because what I'm not going to do is come out my pocket and be helping folks. And Ooh, you treating me like shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because, baby, I can keep my fucking money. And I can have a good fucking time by myself. I don't need a group of hoes to have a good time. I could have came on this trip by my motherfucking self. And I'm talking about I could have got all this shit by my motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? I only tagged along because y'all fucking asked. Don't play me like that. The bitch talking about some, oh, well, um, you know when we be out sometimes, Taco, I do this for you, I do that for you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because now I feel like now I feel like you're throwing shit in my face. Don't do that. And one thing about me, you're not going to throw shit in my face because, bitch, I promise if I had to do the same, I'm going to throw your whole life in your fucking face. Bitch, don't play me like that. She's talking about something. Oh, Taco, when we be out, I do this for you, I do that for you. You do that, but I, I'm not asking you to do it. Fuck you, tell me. That. Bitch, bitch, if, if that's going to, if it's going to be like to the point where like, you do some shit just to throw it back in, in my fucking face. Uh, this don't do that. It. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about me, I'm not no hoe out here with her hand out. I'm not asking nobody for I'm not asking you for shit. I don't need shit for you. That's what that's what the fuck really be pissing me off. Bitch, you be thinking you need some shit from them or you want some. I don't need shit from nobody, bitch, but a fucking check. Fuck you, tell me. <laughs> I don't need shit. And, and barely even that, bitch, I can make my own goddamn money. Fuck you, tell me. So I'm sitting here. She's talking about, yeah, Taco, when we be out, I be doing this, I be doing that. I told that bitch, I said, yeah, but you choose to do that. I'm not telling you to do that. And then when you do that, I'm very grateful for it. I'm not sitting here being fucking rude. The thing about me is somebody do something for me, bitch, I'm very fucking grateful because, bitch, you didn't have to in the first motherfucking place. But, like, don't don't throw no shit back in my face like that, shawty. So, um, she just got damn disgusting. It, it's not even like a fucking argument. It's more so just like a fucking a back and forth. Like, every time I said something, the bitch had a rebuttal. And one thing about me, baby, I'm going to get the last motherfucking word. Don't play with me. Crazy. I'm gonna get the last word. Crazy. <laughs> That's my last name. Last word. Fuck you, some like Taco. Last word. Don't I? Don't play with me. So the fucking twins, the sisters, they was like, "This our last fucking night. Can y'all please just let us have a good time?" Like the twins told us straight up. The twins said, "I, I don't give a fuck about spending money. I don't give a fuck." Okay, bitch, and me neither. You're not gonna stand here and talk to me like I got a problem spending money. I don't have a problem spending money, bitch. I can't keep it forever, so I'm gonna blow this shit when I want to and when I can. Fuck you, tell me. But, like I said, and like I keep repeating, I'm not gonna be blowing money on an ungrateful bitch. Fuck you mean. So, the twins talking about something. If we go out tonight, everything on us. Everything. You taco your shit on us, and you... The Damn, Yo, what the twins do? I don't give a fuck. I no, just... it's not even that. It's just kind of like... No, I, I want to know... What do they do? I'm gonna tell you one thing they don't they they don't do is they don't worry about money. Yeah, I and, know that. Right, I know that. I'm just saying it. And even if I didn't worry about money, babe, I would have a problem with somebody using me as a fucking sponge. That's true. And see, the thing is, that's why it just shows that when you try to go on trips or do things or have like a group of friends that you want to have fun with. It's like they all need to be on the same shit, on the same level as far as you got money and you're not worried about it like that. 
Yeah. Like like the type of friends where, let's say, for example, you spend the money in Miami, your bank account or your credit union, they mark it as fraud and they block that card. But you have another resource or another uh, plan B or plan C that you can tap into. So it's like it's not a concern. Like I, yeah. I'm still going to be able to move the way I need to move no matter what's going on. Yeah. And it's kind of like when you hang with people who they got to check their bank account or they got to look and see they only got $20 in their account, some shit like that. It's like the experience is not enjoyable and they're more likely to fight or get into it with each other. Yeah. Gonna have a good time. That's all right. You know what I'm saying? All right. Fuck it. So, um, we stepped out one last time. This is like some shit where you got to get like dressed up, dressed up. You know what I'm saying? Like not no chill, not no lounge shit. Like we went to a club club and it was like a little lesbian spot. And we get out there, the fucking admission like $20. I had $20 in cash. And one thing about me, you can tell me you're going to do some shit for me. That don't mean I'm going to let you do it. Yeah. What are you talking about, bitch? As long as, as, long as I'm, I'm willing and I'm able and I'm healthy enough to do it, I'm going to do it for my fucking self. Mm. Yeah. Need your goddamn help, bitch. That, that'd be the problem with hoes now. Just because yeah. somebody willing and able to do some shit for you don't mean let them do it. That's that girl problem. They get a chance, they're going to throw that shit back in your face. Um, play games like that. So we got to do uh, $20 a person. I pull out my fucking 20 One of the sisters looked at me and was like, we said, I know what you said, baby, but it's $20. I'm not tripping about no fucking $20. So we get in the club. Uh, shit got down lit. You know what I'm saying? We in that bitch. Uh, uh, uh. Turned up. Mm. It ain't no section, this motherfucker. It ain't no sections like it was at the hookah lounge. So we all just get in there. We all just kind of stand near the bar. So they started asking. They was like, y'all want to drink? I said, no. I want to drink, but not right now. I'm not going to get a drink with y'all just because y'all paying for it. I'm not ready to drink. Fuck you, tell me. They get drinks. The two twin, like the two sisters get drinks. And then the girl get to drink with them. I was like, Taco, you're not going to drink? I'm going to drink when I want to drink. Fuck you, tell me. The sister's like, okay, let me know when you want to drink. No, you're not my mama. <laughs> I don't have to let you know my... Because one thing about me now, 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 you done push the fucking petty button, bitch. And like I said in my little dirt voice, bitch, you petty, bitch, I'm petty too. You done push the petty button in me, bitch. Now I'm going to do everything opposite of what the... <laughs> I'm going to do everything, bitch, it's opposite day, dumbass. I'm going to do everything opposite of what the fuck you're saying. No. Okay, let me know when you want to drink. No. <laughs> y'all y'all know that y'all know that picture of Bugs Bunny? No. <laughs> Fuck you coming out with me. No, nigga, I don't need your goddamn help. I am not a baby. Fuck you to my them hoes fucked around and walked away for a little second. Bitch, I got to that motherfucking bar. Let me get a Bahama bag. Do you got a blue motherfucker? <laughs> do you guys have Bahama? Do you guys do you guys make Bahama Bay Breeze? <laughs> Bitch, you're gay. Bitch, you ordering that fruity ass drink, you're gay. Like, I got to the bar. Let me get a Bahama Bay Breeze. Fuck you, Tim. So, uh, I get my drink. I come and find him in the crowd. Them bitches dancing. The sister looking at me like, I told you to tell me when you wanted a drink. I said, I'm straight, shawty. I got it. So, I'm dancing. The sister dancing on me. The other sister dancing with the other girl. We turned up. Uh, uh, uh. I ain't gonna count. We was having a good time because at this point we all was getting tipsy and drunk. You know? so yeah. We was kind of tipsy from the mimosas earlier. So now, bitch, we entering a drunk phase. Fuck you to my swing that bitch. Oh, Lord. Mm, 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 mm. Turned up, you know what I'm saying? So the so, bitch got the goddamn. I feel like I'm trying to throw I feel like I'm trying to throw up. The fuck they gotta do with me? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. At this point, I don't care no more, bitch, because you don't rub me the wrong fucking way. So, uh, they run, one sister go with her, they run into the bathroom. Me and the other sister stay on the dance floor. We turned up, bitches still dancing. Woo, woo, woo. They come back out. This whole goddamn, I'm talking about pissy. I'm talking about like the bitch got throw up coming down her clothes. Yeah. All right. Now, now I done cut like the petty shit out because obviously, bitch, you in distress. Fuck you, talking about. So, sister, like, carrying her. Like, she's not carrying her, but, like, they stumbling together. She was like, man, this bitch just went to the bathroom and just, like, lost all her fucking, like, bodily function. She was like, we need to go. So, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? So, collectively, we carrying a bitch out the club. You know what I'm saying? We done put the bitch in the front seat. I, uh, know, I had to climb over the bitch. She's such a I hassle. I had to climb over the bitch. The other sister had to climb over the bitch. We in the back. The other sister driving. We get this bitch back to the Airbnb. I'm time out full-fledged nurse mode i'm talking about giving very much fucking hospice nurse fuck your hop spice hospice whatever the fuck i'm talking about like we don't went into like gray's anatomy type shit bitch we done back down took the bitch clothes off we done wiped the bitch down with a washcloth we done got damn fucking threw the bitch in the tub 
we done had to go through the bitch bags, find some shit for her to put on. She ain't got shit but slutty ass outfits. Bitch, that's why you ain't got no fucking money now. Cause <laughs> you done spent all your fucking money on all these damn fashion over fits. Fuck you talking about. So when the sisters get some like a big ass shirt and some panties out her bag, we done put it on the bitch. I'm talking about we done got the bitch in bed. We done took the bitch eyelashes off, took the bitch makeup off, washed the bitch up. I'm talking about put the bitch phone on charge. I'm talking about we done put a bonnet on the bed. You know what I'm saying? Just Lord. regular human decency shit. You know what I'm saying? Not sitting here like, oh, you owe us for this. You No, just human, fucking human decency. Bitch, if a bitch fucked up, help that bitch. Especially if it's a black woman. I'm not finna leave you fucked up like that, shorty. You pissing me the fuck off. I done been wanting to slap you since we done, we done booked them fucking plane tickets. I done been wanting to slap five from your ass. You pissed me the fuck off. But you're a black woman at the end of the day. I'm not finna leave you fucked up in a situation. I'm not finna have you embarrassed in the club. You got them in the middle of the club throwing up and still dancing. You got throw up on. Fuck no, I'm finna get your ass up out that jam. And I'm finna help you clean up. And then you're gonna laugh. Dance and so, huh. <laughs> we done made that shit right the bitch down. Bitch, we just call it a night. You know what I'm saying? Me and the two sisters, we went out on the deck on the little balcony. And we was smoking. And we was just talking. And I was telling them, I said, I'm straight up. I'm sorry if I rubbed y'all the wrong way. Because I know, like, we not cool. We just associates because me and her cool. And they was like, nah, you straight. And they was just like, I told you, like, from jump, she always act like this. From jump, she never had no money. From jump, she always expect other people to pay for her shit. From jump. You can literally break so much bread with this bitch and she's just going to be a bitch. That's the person she is. I'm asking them straight up. I said, well, if y'all know all this, why do y'all keep hanging out with the bitch? And they talking about some, uh, I mean, why cut her off? <laughs> Shit. Plenty of reasons. I give you 25 reasons why yes. cut her bitch off. You better than me. Fuck you to me. So, uh, we finished smoking. We all go and just fucking get in bed. I didn't get in bed with that bitch. I didn't want to be in bed with her. I ain't going to count. So, I slept on the sofa. So, you know, the next morning, we all waking up. We all grabbing our shit, packing. Checkout was like at 11, but our flight wasn't till like 3, 4. On the plane, we touched back down in Atlanta. Next thing I know, <laughs> a good week passed by. I'm talking about, it's a new group chat, but the group chat is me and the two sisters. The bitch not in there. So the one of the sisters, she sent a screenshot of a message from the, the broke bitch. I'm talking about this bitch was eating our ass the fuck up in another group chat with some other hoes. I'm talking about what? I asked a sister. I said, how did you get this? And she said, one of the girls from the other group chat just sent this to me on Instagram. This bitch in there calling us all types of hoes, tricks, See? bitches. Bitches ain't fun. Them hoes got this little ass Airbnb. Airbnb wasn't hitting on shit. They had this little ass Mercedes coupe. Coupe wasn't hitting on shit. Them hoes had me... Them hoes flew Delta. What the fuck you fly Delta, but you not even first class, bitch. You could have just flew Frontier. Wow. Excuse the fuck out of me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I ain't know that was a standard. Fuck you tell me. Like, I ain't know if I'm flying Delta, I gotta be in first class. That must be some new shit. Fuck you tell I'm telling about eating our ass up. Until I couldn't even say nothing. I said, ooh. She's good. <laughs> no cap. No cap. One thing about me. I'm going to tell a bitch when she eat my ass up. I ain't going to hold you. I'm like, oh, you you got me. Stupid ass. I'm like, this hoe eating. That's a lot. I'm talking about these bitches wasn't on shit. These hoes let me throw up in the middle of the club. Baby, first of all, you went in the bathroom and threw up. When we pulled your ass out the club, yes, you had throw up running down your leg. But it's kind of like, what the fuck did you want us? You want us to wipe that shit up with our bare hand? And then just throw, like, yeah, I'm saying, bitch, we took you back to the Airbnb and got your ass right and gave your ass a bath and everything. We could have left your funky ass in that raggedy ass sheen outfit with throw up running down the side of it, bitch, with that raggedy ass lace, giving very much GTA prostitute. Fuck you to my, we could have left your ass raggedy, but bitch, we gave you a bath and everything like you, like you was a fucking a potato. Fuck you to my, you know what I'm saying? I'm to my, this bitch ate us up in that goddamn group chat with them other hoes. I don't even know who the fuck the other hoes was. It was just another group chat. So the sister was like, I'm not even going to say nothing to her. I'm just going to block her. And the other sister agreed. She was like, yeah, same. And she was like, um, talk, I'm sorry. Like it had to end like this, but you know, like everybody different. Everybody be on different type of time. So you really can't even hold it against her. Shit me! <laughs> Fuck you talking about little dance and dance. Shit me! <laughs> Shit me, crazy man. Crazy man, I, 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 crazy man, I got a plan. Fuck you talking about. I'm finna put you down, clown. I got a couple things to say. I'm talking about FaceTime that bitch. 
I ain't finna text you. I'm finna FaceTime you, baby. I FaceTime that bitch. That bitch denied the first two FaceTime calls. FaceTime that bitch one more time. That bitch answered. Wouldn't even get in the camera. Yeah, ho, because you already know I was on an evil out of fuck out your ass. <laughs> Crazy, don't play with me. I'm fucking evil when I want to be. That bitch answered. Put my ass on the, cent on the ceiling talking about some What's up, taco? Sound sad, bro. What, what you got going on? She's talking about some what? I said, why was you in a group chat talking shit like that about us? Like, we helped you the entire time we was out there. She's talking about, oh, that's what you call it? Wow. Bitch, I don't call it. What the fuck else would I call it, bitch? We fed you. We made sure you had a good time. We made They made sure you had a car. They made sure you had somewhere to lay your head and wash your fucking ass. I'm talking about like, why, why, what's up? She's talking about some, yeah, but y'all was just acting funny. Y'all was doing this, doing that. Y'all had uh. animosity because I, I, we had animosity. We, who is we? The people of the United States, who is we? <laughs> Fuck you, tell me. I'm like, we, we had animosity. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> you're a liar. You're a capper. The cap on this app. Fuck you, tell me. Bitch, you're cap in America. You're a knee cap. Fuck you, tell me. You're a cap. But T, bitch, you're you're a liar. Like I said, we had animosity. Man, I ain't even let that bitch finish her goddamn sentence. I said, Shawty, you came out to Miami with thirty dollars in your fucking purse. Ain't nobody have animosity but you. You was mad because yeah. you was in another city, broke as fuck, ain't know what to do, out there struggling, out there hungry as hell. Niggas fed you, niggas gave you drinks, niggas gave you hookah, niggas gave you somewhere to lay, niggas gave you a ride. We had animosity? I said, ain't nobody have animosity but you because you ain't got no money. Hung up on that bitch. Doot, doot, doot. I ain't never heard from that bitch again. Fuck you, somebody. Bitch blocked me on everything. One thing about me, a bitch gonna block me, but same. Fuck you, <laughs> same. I be blocking the fuck out of people too, but like, I know I rubbed you the wrong way if you blocked me, because like, why would you block me? Look at me. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Like, Shawty was mad. And like, it was just so crazy to me because like, I don't care if I'm the villain in your story. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know where she at. I ain't gonna cap. I don't know where she at. I don't even think the sisters know where she at. It's like the bitch just disappeared off the face of the earth. Like, I don't hear nothing about her. I don't even see her on, like, mutual people stories that she will always be out with. And I follow them. I don't even see her on that. That bitch just disappeared. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, honestly. I don't care if, if you feel like I was a villain. I don't give a fuck if you felt like I was the one causing all the animosity. I don't give a fuck. You're not going to disrespect me and I'm helping you. You're not going to disrespect somebody else and they're helping you. And I'm around. You know what yeah. I'm mm, Crazy, man. I'm, one thing about me, I'm going to put my foot down crazy. Crazy, I'm going <laughs> to step on a bitch. Crazy, not play with me. Moral of this story, do not let nobody play with you because you capital P for real. Fuck you to my, don't let nobody play with you. Don't let nobody play in your face. Don't let nobody disrespect you. If you feel like you're doing the right thing as a human being and if it make you feel good at the end, at the end of the day, continue to do it. Don't let nobody downplay what the fuck you doing or what the fuck you got. Don't let nobody sit here and talk shit about Oh, that's it, or oh, this is it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stand up for yourself, bitch. If you don't, if you don't like the way that somebody talking about some shit that you like, like you got going on, or some type of emotion that you having, speak up for yourself. Don't let nobody downplay what the fuck you proud of or what the yeah. fuck you enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Another moral of this story. I think I, I think I had this moral in another past story time, but this is a moral that I actually like. Another moral of this story: never feel like you need friends more than you need yourself. Or never feel like you need somebody else, period, more than you need yourself. So that even goes for, like, relationships or even, like, mm -hmm. family members. Never feel like you need somebody more than you need your fucking self. Because at the end of the day, it's just going to always be you. You know what I'm saying? Like, people gonna come, people going to come and go regardless. But the main person that's going to stay is yourself. You know what I'm saying? So always nurture yourself. Always take care of yourself. Always make sure you're enjoying something for yourself. Don't do something just to, like show out and make other people feel better and make people feel better about themselves or don't do something just to like prove a point to somebody bitch you don't gotta prove shit to nobody but your fucking self fuck you to my like word to Aaliyah. i'm competing with myself to be the best i don't give a fuck about y'all hoes or y'all niggas or y'all they thems fuck you to my and i think the last moral of the story don't go nowhere if you don't got no fucking finances we don't got Man. no goddamn money don't go nowhere and your money fucked up it's going to always be there, baby. It's not that goddamn serious. Don't let social media make you feel like you have to rush into having fun. Or don't let social media, like, trick you into, if you're not out here doing this, you're not living life. Baby, I promise, a lot of them folks that y'all be seeing in all these other countries, they either fucked really old men to get out there, or 
they done fuck around and got evicted just to get out that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a collect. It's it's a select few of people who are actually living the lifestyle that they're portraying. But yeah. I promise you, majority of them people that you see in them other cities turned up, driving in Lamborghinis, they got their titties out, they got them turned up, smoking hookah every fucking night, drinking wine every night. I promise you, they they not living that lifestyle all the time, my nigga. Don't let social media rush you into some shit or don't let social media make you feel like you less of a person or you not having fun or you not living life correctly. Bitch, you got your whole life you got your whole life ahead of you. It ain't no age group to do nothing. It ain't no age. It ain't no age group to accomplish anything. You got your whole motherfucking life ahead of you, bruh. Your twenties up until your fucking fifties, bitch. Even your fucking sixties, seventies, and eighties. It don't matter your age. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do, but just don't let nobody rush you into that shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But that was it for the story time. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you didn't, I don't give a fuck. You probably one of them people who be in Miami with $20 to their name. Bye. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay. So that was a really good story time. I think definitely there are lessons that can be learned from that. The main lesson that I constantly think about is when we always talk about the importance of doing shadow work and checking your ego because yeah. when you don't do that you're out in the world you're funking up and you may not even realize that you're doing that like just look at how funky she was coming off even from the story time like even though we only heard it from taco's perspective no matter how you put it she sounds funky yeah. And when you don't check yourself and you don't check your ego, you're out in the world funking up and you may not even realize it. Yes. And I think, you know, even people like how the two sisters just was kind of brushing off her attitude. Like you can do that, but look what happened in the end. And I can only imagine how the sisters felt because they was trying to keep Taco from getting in her ass. That's why I'm like, we should let Taco whoop that whole ass. But sometimes you have people that's kind of like, what would Jesus do? You know, but still, it's like, don't let anybody take advantage of you. I like the message that Taco gave at the end. Same. It's like, you don't have to put on a front for anybody. It's yeah. like, this is your life. Live it. And don't think because you see somebody else living a certain way. That that's how you're supposed to live. You have your own life and things that you're supposed to be doing. And that's like why I'm really happy that me and you, we can share our journey. Like, yeah. I don't know if y'all have seen our vlogs and just seen different things that we went through, different ways we were living and stuff. That's our journey. That's our story. We live it unapologetically. Yeah. And if you judge us, that's you. Yeah. If you if we're not looking like the uppity social media influencers that you're used to seeing, that ain't nobody problem. That ain't our problem. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I got one more thing to say. If you ain't got a sag on your team, you need to get you one. Because we ain't going to be for that motherfucking bullshit. I would have went off on that hoe too. I probably would have pushed her her goddamn throat talking all that bullshit. Y'all, we would have been fighting that motherfucking night. I ain't going to even lie. <laughs> Well, if y'all enjoyed the reaction, also, uh, hold up, don't forget to order your herbs. Shout out to um, Akeem Pierre, our sponsor. Um, we have great herbs. And one I recommend is St. John's Bush Tea because it helps clean out your wound. Oh, y'all, wait. Let me tell them today, y'all, I was cramping so bad because it's time for my Miss Lady to come. Y'all, I use some St. John's. Then I used the blue vervain and I used the um, red raspberry. Y'all, when I looked at the time, at the time I drank it, within seven minutes, my cramps had started easing up. I was just like, oh my God. Y'all, when I tell you, the reason why I push the herbs so hard especially st john's bush tea is because of what it does for us personally y'all already know we don't walk around just having accepting sponsorships from all different people like yeah. you have to really impact our lives so we really fuck with akeem pierre we really fuck with the herbs check out st john's bush tea the information is in our bio but anyways if you enjoyed the reaction hit the subscribe button also like the video we hope to catch y'all next time peace we made this plan to meet up, it's 9-11, that's your number and I'm here to remind you. You don't really need a lot of more fish. Cause you know what it is, you know what it should be like. You never need a day of don't be validation. You live it in your truth, only moment you feel it, that's why I'm tuning into your body.